I'm being killed. This <laughs> spiders. The outcast. No, Doji. We are not calling ourselves the rejected spiders. <laughs> God damn it, Doji. I said something appropriate, something that we can merchandise. We can't just call ourselves the autistic spider. <laughs> Nothing to do with mentally handicapped people, please. Like, I know you're in it, but like, nothing to do with mentally handicapped individuals, Doji. No! The more you ask, the hard- The more you ask, the harder I'll refuse. We need everybody in here. Like, we need Totoro... We need Totoro and Jackson in here since we're like the main four. Chaos mess. <laughs> Instead of the chaos emeralds, it's the chaos mess. <laughs> Warm. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna. I'm gonna teleport to you. Hey, friend. Worm. Worm. Why? Why do I have such low HP? Worm. Fucking asshole. Please tell me your audio is included in my stream. It is now. God damn it, though, G. <laughs> I only do that. I only do that voice when like something actually scares me. One time we were watching Why a Why the fuck is there a movie? random cardinal down here? Oh, I think that. There's a random cardinal down here. Oh, is it like actually alive? No. I think so. Maybe. Oh, hey. Well, it was probably me. Oh, the spider! <gasps> the die trader. Yeah. Don't you have your magic mirror? Yeah. Oh, Use it. You. Uh, how many more forms did you add? A few. Japanese light. <gasps> Can we get the but yeah, I, But yeah, Wait, actually, we were watching this, a movie actually, once. Actually, it's really convenient that you found this since I'm gonna need this later on. The spider biome. Is that a boss? No, I need it to grind material so I can make armor. I'm gonna make fucking spider armor out of fangs of spiders. Yeah, and you thought fucking... Hey, it's a giant Shelly. Give me a yo-yo. Hey, gave me the yo-yo. So, so yeah. One time we were watching a horror movie, and like, there's a random thing like the dead body like just fell onto the camera or something where you are i was like <gasps> still bullied about it that's pretty funny do you like my yo-yo hmm? like my yo-yo yes it's a weapon you want to pvp me against the yo-yo Sure. Okay. How do I turn that on? Go to your player menu, the same area where you put where okay. you put on. Oh wait, hand. I need to go Great. on a different team. Let's go, bitches. Pink team. Wait, 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 wait. Get fucked! Get fucked! Oh, that's how we gotta play, huh? 
That's how we're gonna play. Get back here, motherfucker. Oh shit, that does too much damage. Get him. Get him, bird. Why the fuck is your gun the only- Why the fuck is your weapon the only one that does damage? Oh my god, you're getting it. Woo! Slime fight. POV, I actually start trying. I ah, fuck, I realized I can't dodge like this. Little man's getting shit on. <laughs> Little man's getting shit on. I'll bet I could beat your ass with the wand of sparking. Retreat, retreat, tactical retreat. He's missing all of his bullets. Wow. Tactical retreat. <laughs> Open the door. Open the door. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I killed you. Yeah, I killed you first, though. We die. No. We die together, bitch. <laughs> Open the door! <laughs> Open the door! That was funny. <laughs> Open the door! Okay, so, we can agree that was a tie. I won. I You only won. I won. Give a shit. <laughs> Ew, stinky angler. An angler. A child, which is why we hate him. That's the only explanation. Anyways, join I pink won't go and see. Join Pink Team. He's a stinky idiot child. Let me go and check. Shadow die. Well, he's a child, so I'm pretty sure that he can't get up here. We can have multiple people on a team. Yes. Like, multiple people on the world. Yes. That's how multiplayer works, Doji. I'm glad you figured it out. You know, like, so many people. That's how multiplayer works, Doji. Quest. Oh, I'm gonna be so rich deep in the caverns. There's a fish made out of gemstones. Don't ask me how... I don't know. All I know is that there's a fish totally awesome and you're gonna catch it for me. Cotton underground in caverns. Yeah, I'm not doing this fucking fishing quest because I've done enough of them. Could we kill him? If you feel like it. Yay! I'm so pretty. Is that? I'm so, oh, we I'm so pretty. Look can't. at me. Look at me. I'm so pretty. I won't put that. No, it's my unique vanity set. Fuck off. Crap, I barely could even pick up the stairs. It's called jumping, dumb fuck. Where did you even buy that? I didn't buy it. I made it. Oh. You want, do you want the tail? I don't like the tail. Hey, if you, do you want. Do you want it? Okay, then I'll take it. I'll take it. It's like the main thing that I want. You could have the only thing that I don't want. Put that there. I'm a beautiful fish. Wait, what can I combine? How do you combine something? You have to combine it at this thingy. Tinker's workbench, one of the most useful items in the game. Oh, the Fuck. library? Yes, the library. So, it will it come up as like a thing here? Yeah, or... it'll come up as a crafting recipe if if you can combine things. 
If you can't, then sucks to suck. Also, you do need to end up taking them out of your... Um, what's it called? Oh, okay, your... so you need them to be in your inventory. Yes, they have to, to be in your inventory. Okay. Let's see what I can... What vanity legs can I make that look good? I put together floret floret prote protector plants so I kind of crap okay menacing inner tube and the uh, pants or the helmet the ninja helmet mm hmm oh you can't combine armor there that's only for <clears throat> um what's it called Can I combine the menacing inner tube and the Hermes boots? Huh? No. Can I combine? Okay. So it'll tell you if it's a material. It'll t it should show you material if it can be if it can end up being made into something. There's the menacing step stool. And Hermes boots. No. Hermes boots need rocket boots in order to be combined into Spectre boots. Which is what I have. Okay. Also, what, I'm. What about the one, I am the number one contributing cause to uh, rising carbon levels. I mean, look at my look at my footprints. These things cannot be good for the ozone layer. What can I craft? What can I make this step stool into? Uh, I think it's called the hand of creation. You need a bunch of shit that we don't have yet. Like a bunch of stuff. Okay. I want the axe of regrowth so badly. I don't want to have to place acorns by myself. <gasps> Apple. Fuck off. Stop stealing my shit. Fucking gremlin. You know, here's the apple back. I don't get it. <clears throat> You're exactly like every other fucking player when I play multiplayer. Standing right on top of me trying to steal my garbage. Ah, garbage. Yeah, it's mine. My okay. trash. <laughs> yeah, it might be trash, but it's mine. It might be trash, but it's my trash. Not your trash. We're gonna build another house and hope that the goblin uh, stinkerer moves in. What does he do? He rips you off. Does he give you the good things? He rips you off. Does he give you good things? He rips you off. That's all you need to know. You can use him to reforge your accessories and tools into better versions of themselves with better modifiers. If he likes you enough to actually let you do that. How do you... Do you have to talk to him? Yeah, it's a, it's a reforge mechanic. Now I just gotta wait for the green fuck to move in. Um, you missed a square. I'm aware, that's why I'm making more walls, Doji. Thanks for noticing the one mistake that I make. I'm sure that makes you feel good about yourself, huh? There's like a good 30-something NPCs in this game, so I'm building a fucking sky skyscraper. Until I actually need them. To which then... 
you know you're building a world trade center yes i'm building i'm building this i'm building the only child tower <clears throat> you're waiting for one plane well i mean i can summon a plane what about like once we're done with the game we create 9-11 That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It was me, Unreal Terrorin, as well as the Doji, who caused 9-11. Not any foreign country. It was us. <laughs> God damn it. That wasn't what I fucking wanted. <laughs> well, I mean, you'll do. I like this. I like this NPC, so they'll do. Wait, how much does he buy animals for? The same as everybody else. So, uh, can we buy animals from him? No. You can buy vanity and summon items. Also, it's a girl, well, and, it, and it's a furry. You don't know how much anti I've seen of this. Oh, there is so much hentai of this character. Like, not even joking. Also, it's nighttime now, so I'm gonna summon in uh, an airplane. The airplane, oh. the airplane of Cthulhu. Uh, oh crap, he's killing the child. That's good, wait. Kill the angler, kill the angler, kill the angler. Bring him over here, we wanna kill the angler. We don't, we don't want this NPC, he's fucking useless. Kill the child, kill the child, kill the child. <laughs> the birth control of Cthulhu. <laughs> yep, right here, come on. Fuck. Stop. No! The nurse is healing him! Fuck! Alright, whatever. <laughs> Fuck. Back to New York City, come on. We gotta get back to New York. You're gonna fucking die, aren't you? Just shoot them. It's really not that hard. Just shoot them. Hey, yep, target me, come on. Climb, get back onto the platform and heal up if you can. I'll focus him. Okay. Just... Wasn't there like supposed to be two of them? No, there's only one. I can only summon one. By the way, with that gun, don't stop firing. You have enough bullets. You literally cannot run out. He... Part of that gun's whole effect is that it conserves your ammo if you shoot for long enough. So much damage. Me when they're me when I see me when the fast food finally gets here. You also go ape shit and start fucking eating people. <laughs> All of your bullets are missing, Doji. All of your bullets. Not even some, but every single bullet you shot is missed. Fucking zombie! Don't do that to the zombie. You piece of shit! Well, you have fun with them. Just do not stop running when fighting him. Use your mini shark, it does more damage. <laughs> yeah, you fuck. Slime. Him. You're gonna learn the hard way how to fight this boss. Get off of your slime now, what the fuck are you doing? Speed is everything in this to... fight. Speed is everything in this fight. POV police when there's a car. Police when there's a car. Basically the police. I am the police. Get you, motherfucker. Get you. The setup that I had where I was running backwards and now shooting a gun. That's a police tactic. Exactly. Except you should be running forwards. Yep, get poisoned, idiot. Nice one. It dropped to gold. Yep. Did you pick it up? Nope. Still over there. Easy! Didn't even die this time. Should I summon another? Can we for their... How much time in the night do we have? 
Doesn't look like that much. We got time. We should get Waffle here and let her handle it. Waffle will fucking die. Like, immediately. <laughs> you should hit again. Yeah, we have enough time. Now that you actually know what to do, because I'm gonna yell at your ass. Basically, with the mini shark, never take your finger off the trigger if it's still alive. If it lives, you're not doing enough. How does he even, like, attack us? He runs into us. Oh, he's already phase two. See, look how easy that was. Now for the hard part. So Cthulhu, like, isn't that like the giant tentacle monster? Yes, Cthulhu, as in the squid. Okay, kind of. See, that's what I meant okay. by always keep moving. And your shield of Cthulhu many... is used to immediately proc your uh, dodge, like. You know your Hermes boots, how you're running really fast? Use your shield of Cthulhu to double tap dash, so you immediately start sprinting when you hit the ground. Oh, okay. Oh, like, this thing came... So this thing is an eye from Cthulhu? Yup. How many eyes does he have? A lot. He has like multiple eyes for every tentacle. I mean, I don't know. I haven't met him face to face. If he wants to meet, though, I'll make an arrangement. I'll say howdy to Cthulhu in real life. Why not? So don't stop moving. Use your dash if you have I, to. Don't take your finger off the trigger like I, I told you to. Wait, what? What happened? What happened? You got stuck. What happened? You got stuck on the rope. I hate that rope. You gotta jump to get off of it. I just spawned in it. Also, Doji, just... for the love of God, when I fucking tell you something, listen. If the eye is still alive, never take your finger off the trigger. That means, even if you don't see it, still keep shooting because that because what might happen is it might run into your storm of bullets <clears throat> like right now just keep your finger on the trigger see like that it'll just run into all of your bullets and the less health this thing has the better it is to kill it This thing has no HP right now, so we can just tank it. Yep, easy. Easy. Okay, the loot bag must be down here then. Did I help out enough to get it? Maybe. Do you see it? Could be in. Could be in your inventory still. Okay. Yeah, I got one. I have two. Okay. Perfect. Do they always like give the same thing? Yeah, they all bosses drop the same thing unless a boss has different like loot rotations. Like for instance, some bosses might drop like different weapons for different classes. So if let's say you kill Duke Fishron like five times, you'll get like three or four different weapons. But if you kill Aya Cthulhu, he'll always drop the same shit. I mean, some things might be different, but yeah. Oh, I didn't get the pet. That sucks. I look shield. Oh, I have the fleeting shield of Cthulhu, and I have the violent shield of Cthulhu. Uh. Do you want quick? <coughs> I have a quick one, it'll increase your movement speed by 4%. Um... You're talking about, um... A thing? A pet, right? I mean, I guess. Is it, it's called the suspicious... Oh yeah, you got that thingy. I'll trade you that for my shark. 
I mean, my pet, you know, okay. he attacks. No, he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't? I'm okay, never mind, then you can have this thing. No pets attack. Okay, then you can have this. I want the shark, please. Okay. Here's your shark. So, go Perfect. in your inventory. Did you, uh, equip your pet in the pet slot? And yes. You, and you have your mount in the mount slot, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. I love this thing. Yep. It's fucking stupid. I love it so much. Wait, wait, not gonna lie, the Capricorn tail is supposed to be, like, blue and white, but because your inner tube, it looks like you're half salmon. It looks like you're half salmon. Does Fishy. It... I'm gonna be honest, I fucking... I cannot get over how cool this Dallas Payday mask is. I love it so much. Boy, if your brother, like, he got... You made him mad, so he, like, drew all over it. Uh, I would remove his kidneys and sell them to get enough money to pay for it. Anyway, zoologist, do you sell what I want? Cat license. Used to adopt a cat for your town. Already have a cat. Is additional licenses to act. So, basically, a cat randomly appears? Yes, it's a cat NPC. Did you buy it? <gasps> no. Okay, I'm buying it then. Oh! <gasps> Thank you! Cat delivery service, like... It'll be here, <laughs> like, by the... It'll be here sometime today. Fish! The, f the fuck is that? It's a kite. Fish! Wee! Where did you buy that? From the lady. Mr. The Cat has Mr. Mr. Cat the Cat. <laughs> Mr. It's Mr. Cat. cat the Cat the Cat. Okay, I guarantee that was like that was like a Terraria dev inside joke and they were just like fuck it. Oh my god, it's white. Please uh, tell me that they can please tell me that after the Puss in Boots movie they're gonna name one Puss in Boots or Kitty Soft Paws. It's a good day to die. Yeah, the demolition- Kordak, are you okay? Kordak is suicidal. Also, he's on top of the cat. Cat! Oh yeah, multiple people can pet the cat at the same time, which is funny. We Here, pet the cat I love with this me. Thing. Pet the cat with me. Wait, hang on, I have to reel in my kite. Give me a second. Can I buy a kite? Uh, do you have money? Yeah. You can buy a kite from the zoologist. This is why the zoologist was one of my favorite NPCs. Like, it sells the stupidest things, but they're all so amazing at the same time. Like, in hard mode, after you kill a certain amount of bosses, she'll start selling, like, really cool pets. Like, there's an electric bunny that looks like Pikachu. She sells kites. She sells... What else does she sell? Oh, she sells, um, like, the very first summon-type weapon that you're able to get easily. She sells, uh, the Leather Whip, which, if you didn't have access to the whip Snap Nene. Thorn... If you didn't have access to the Snap Thorn, which I do, so I don't need to buy it. If you didn't have access to it, you would buy the Leather Whip. Uh, what else? She sells pretty cool vanity. I'm waiting for her to sell the fox set so I can wear it. There's a dog. Yeah, I don't want dog ears or a dog tail. I want fox ears. Like, are you attracted to her? Who's to say? I mean, the internet goes crazy over them. Just like, why? <laughs> because the Terraria devs have no chill.
which is absolutely fantastic. Unlike Minecraft or any other thing, Terraria devs will add basically whatever the fuck they want. So on the subreddit, r slash Terraria, Red was gone for like a week on vacation. Red's the developer of Terraria, by the way. He was gone for a week and everyone was like, hey, let's just make a bunch of memes about asphalt. And they were like, hey, Red, can you add asphalt potions so they kill you when you drink them? That would be really cool, thanks. Hey, Red, can you add asphalt shoes that make your feet run faster? That'd be really cool. Hey, Red, could you add an asphalt armor set so you run faster? That'd be Did he add cool. it? No. He responded with, I leave for one week on vacation and suddenly there's so many asphalt memes. What the heck? What is this? This is a floating island. Oh, this is where the goblin lives. I forgot. That's why the zoologist moved in. Why did they move in? Uh, cause I put torches up here making it valid housing. And also, there it is a pretty decent view up here, I might say. This is where Samwise lives. Good boy. Don't stick your dick in it. It'll fucking melt it. Why? Uh, do you have enough money to buy the rocket boots? I bought a grappling hook. Do you have- okay, equip it. Do you have enough money to buy the rocket boots? I don't think so. You After this purchase. You should. Um, how much is it? Uh, it's like under five gold. Okay, I did purchase it. Okay, combine those with your uh, uh, Hermes boots to make uh, Spectre boots. They allow you to fly like I, like I can. Okay. I'm gonna be broke after this oh, until no. the next <laughs> boss fight. Guaranteed. I'm surprised I could even buy the rocket boots. Okay, so I have to have the the other boots. Yeah, in my you have to have, right? have everything in your inventory that you're combining. And that's a library looking place. Oh! <gasps> it isn't working. Okay, it's here. Hog. Oh, it isn't like infinite. Nope. If it were infinite, there would be no point in getting wings. How do we get wings? Uh, there's only one set of wings in pre-hard mode, and if I get them, I'm not sharing. That's a harpy. Wait, like. You can't, like, get multiple of them? You can, but unless you want to fish for, like, 10 hours, then they're almost impossible to get, because they're, like, a 1 in 40 chance out of any Sky Island chest, because they're just so broken in pre-hard mode. Because all wings, no matter how good they are, will allow you to fly, give you the ability to fall slowly and will prevent you from taking all fall damage. You could fall from space down to hell. You won't even fracture a single you won't fracture a single bone in your body. Will it hurt? No, not at all. You won't take any damage. Which is why they're ridiculously OP. And because you can get them basically like before any boss they're broken as shit. Really the only test of, uh, like, the, really the only challenge is either finding them or getting to them without dying to a harpy. Which, as you may be able to tell, is a bit of a challenge sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, 
Herpes are just like so annoying. Yeah. Okay, I need to leave in a second, so. Will you, will you come back? Yeah, I'll be back. I'm just gonna go AFK. How long? Uh, I have no idea. If I had to guess, maybe 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Also, the worst part about harpies that I don't think any other, like, non-boss related enemy or, like, non- What I don't like about harpies is what I'm trying to say is that, um, they don't get stun locks. Like, they'll fight back even if you're constantly damaging them. Fuck. Anyways. I'm gonna go AFK. I'll be back in some amount of time. Try okay. not to do something stupid and see if you can be productive. Okay, also, why do I keep on hearing eating noises when I die or respawn? Oh, because, uh, because you have your pet on your summon slot. The default pet summon noise is like that little crunch thing. I don't know why, but yeah. So that's just your pet huh? auto summoning back in. I'm gonna chill up here with the zoologist. And uh, yeah, I'll be back. Okay.
Just updated my Twitch. Goodbye.
I hate that. Whoever will watch this stream, give, I'm gonna be gone for like, if this goes the way that I want it to, uh, like probably like a few minutes. But if it goes, yes, we. So I'll be back within like an hour or something. Bye.
time back. Doji. Yay, she sells the thingies. Simon seems like a little bitch. Up we go. take that actually that's pretty decent I guess I'll just stay here while I go uh, eat dinner I guess until doji comes back finally
I'm back. Is Doji still gone? What the fuck? Squirrel. That that's the wrong thing. Condense the wood straight down into platforms. Just gonna build straight forward. to get a much better summon weapon. Once we're done with Eater of Worlds, I'll probably make a Hellevator and <coughs> I'll probably go and probably go and get uh, some sort of uh, molten gear, molten pickaxe, definitely. But at the very least. Uh, imp staff. probably spit us out in the jungle biome if I had to say. Yep.
probably gonna make full jungle armor. stingers and a bunch of spores That was a bad idea. God damn it. Worm.
So you're a sneaky little thing that likes to eat things through blocks. Well, your tricks will not work on me. Everybody says my name makes makes them sound so condescending. Okay, and this is the part where we just leave everything about that area.
some jungle infrastructure. Very sloppy, I know, but I'm doing the best with what little resources I decided to bring. I can't believe Doji still isn't back.
can't believe he sells some of the best vanity items. And I can't even use a single one. Because I don't have any money. Finally, he's fucking back. Hey, I only left because you weren't getting on. Doji, I got back like seven minutes after I told you. And then I went to go. Well, eat I went downstairs dinner. and. And I went to go eat. I. And then I, I made still my dinner. Back. Fries. Oh, cool. I made me and my family fries. Cool. What did you eat? McDonald's. It was about as good as always. For those of you in the crowd who don't understand sarcasm, that's your cue to uh, pick up on it. Man, like some kids meal burgers, the burgers in general, like the patties. Honestly, like... I like how the McDonald's patties taste, I just don't like their food. Like, you get like a double quarter pounder, there it's like oh this is a pretty hefty burger there's two patties on this thing then you go anywhere else and it's like two pad two of their patties put together is like one and a half normal patties like let's just take burger king one whopper patty is like the same as like two mcdonald's patties which is fine i guess but like don't advertise it as two whole patties. Because it's not even like two whole patties. Which doesn't mean the angelic NFT of options is 9% corrupt. So you know the corruption? Mm hmm. That's bad. We don't want that. Also, I guess the NFT thing, I guess not the entire world. Yeah, the angelic NFT of options is the world name. It was a random name, and I thought it was funny. So, like, we got rid of 9% of the corruption? No. There's 9% 9 per 9 of the world is corruption. That's a lot. Oh. That's a fucking lot, especially in pre-hard oh. mode. Like, how much do we have to do to get rid of 1%? A couple hundred blocks. How do we... What do you mean by a couple hundred blocks? So, there's <clears throat> four there's four different tiles. There's neutral tile, which is, you know, like a wood tile, something that cannot be corrupted. There's pure tile, which is like a grass block or like regular stone. There's hollow tile, which is like pearl stone, hollowed grass, pearl wood. And then there's 
evil tile, which is corruption or crimson. Their 9% for this world has corrupt tiles. So we would either have to dig them all out, blow them all up, or the easy way, wait until, wait until hard mode, kill a mech boss, and get the contaminator. So basically we could... So we have to either break all the blocks... We could purify we the could... world, like, now, but that's the hard part. Not to mention, I don't know how to get biome site potions now, so... Yeah. So. Or you could, like, farm in, like, the hardest mode. <coughs> are we in the hardest mode? We're, yes, we are in the hardest mode. So, like, can we fight a mech boss, like you said, and get the weapon? It's not a weapon. Killing any mech boss on any difficulty will summon an NPC called the Steampunker. The Steampunker sells the Clintaminator, and the Clintaminator allows you to basically purify the world with, like, one or two uh, strokes. I have one HP. I'm gonna eat a mango, and I'm gonna regenerate. I saw... We're gonna chill. I saw okay. Tordak and Mr. Cat, they're having a conversation. Yeah. When life gives you lemons, increase your life regeneration. When life gives you lemons, sell them. And buy something better if you just sell them. Fuck! God damn it. I hate spiked jungle slimes. Should I? Can I come and help you? I mean, that's not really the hard part. The hard part is I'm trying to grind for gear. Like, I'm trying to grind for, what is it, jungle spores and stingers? So I can make jungle armor. So that way I can have, like, the best armor before the, uh, what's his name? Uh, worm. Here, these are pretty good. Wear those. Glad you... Okay, five defense. That's pretty good. Yeah. I killed a random skeleton. So, the gladiator set is, like, really good. The only downside is it's really rare to get. And grinding for it is a pain in the ass, because not only are marble biomes pretty rare, there's two guaranteed in every world. There can be up to three or four. However, the hard part is getting the enemies to spawn that drop the armor set. Because for whatever reason, they really do not like to spawn. Like, at all. However, its defense and set bonus are legendary. You can get that. You can get its set bonus and uh, defense, or you have to even fight a single um, boss. Like we could, I could get that full set before I Cthulhu if I felt like it, which I didn't, because I already tried grinding for it in uh, another one of my playthroughs, and it sucked ass. But as of 1.4.4, its, its set bonus makes it so that way, when you're wearing its full set, it will completely remo remove all knockback. There is only one other item that can do that in the game, and that's the Cobalt Shield. And that's locked behind Skeletron. Okay. Hey, my stream stopped. My stream stopped? Maybe because you were AFK? Big, okay. dad, big, big Daddy Twitch was like, no, no AFK in my house. But I didn't know that you could, like, zoom out of, you know, like, where your character is? I didn't know they can zoom in and out. I told you that. I thought you were talking about the map. No. <clears throat> I mean, I was talking about the map at one point.
Okay, I'm in the jungle. Cool. He got fun in games. Hey. Yes, yeah, staff of regrowth. Let's go. Which is that too? Oh, nothing. I just needed it so I can make a really good axe. Basically, it allows you to grow dirt on top of, or allows you to grow grass on dirt, and it also makes it that way when you harvest reagents with it. That being day bloom and all that on all that other nonsense it will uh, maybe give you more and I also got building wands which so is cool basically better so like your bone meal was a staff yes yeah, so it's also permanent <laughs> it's also permanent meaning oh, it I has just... no durability Lizard tail and eat and lizard. <coughs> hey, don't wear animal shit. That's my that's my thing. Okay. I have on a character that has cat ears. That's fine. I could like, but the tail. I could get the I, tail and furry stuff is mine. Either you. Admit I mean, I could. You, either you admit that you're a furry or you stay away from it. I mean, I could get that account on here and give you them. No, I can buy them. Doji, for me, money is no object. I've somehow managed to get over 1 billion platinum coins. Already? No, not on this character. Besides, I don't want to dupe. It's not fun. I'd rather struggle to grind for my stuff than uh, be that one person that uh, um, that gets like one item and duplicates it for like five minutes to get um, ten thousand of that item. Because technically, Would I could just be mad. I could just. I did that. Yes, I'd be fucking pissed. Because duping is one How of the... How do you duplicate? E I'm not going to fucking tell you, because I know you're going to do it. Can I duplicate one and only make two? No. Duping is one of the worst... Actually, duping is one of the easiest ways to ruin your experience with a game. Because, well... The fuck is that? The fuck is that? The fuck is that shit? Oh, don't you The swear? fuck was that? Doji swearing? Whoa. It looks like a. You were killed by a it bat. It looks like a. No, but like, what's that chain thing? It looks like a copyrighted bullet thing. You know, those bullets that are. Like those oh, balls that are on the a chain. Man eater. Yeah, they're oh, not yeah, that. That's they're not that fun. But you know I'm that gamer person? There's a lot of gamer people, though, dude. Which one? Come in. Master Gamer. You know, the guy in the group chat that you muted. What about, um, if he plays this game with us? Hello? 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 <clears throat> I see I can try and get my Twitch back online. Who is like okay, who's online that can play with us? He's online, but Twain doesn't like him. We would need to keep up.
Slime gun. I'm back. Also, you know that master gamer person? Yeah, I'm not playing with him. I mean, he's kind of good at the game. Hello? No, because A, I don't want to have to carry him, and B, because I don't like his attitude. Okay. Also, Doji, he just seems generally like he's not all that nice to you. Like, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he kind of acts like you, but... At least I know the difference acts... between a joke and just generally, and just genuinely being an asshole. Like, I'll I mean, joke yeah, around with did... my friend. God fucking damn it, I accidentally mirrored. Like, I'll joke around with you, I'll insult you, but I... But generally, when I say something, I don't mean it half the time. With him, it seems like it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, like... A day, like a week or two before I started playing with you again, um, he had done this thing that got me really mad at him. He had died first, and he got me to play Fortnite. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we were playing, and he had died first, and he said, "If you lose this, then gay." And I was doing like very good, and I like was losing a little bit. I was, you know, being damaged. And he says that, and like I survive, for, like. 10 minutes and then he's and then I die because like two people ganged up on me with like good good stuff I like had one good um gun you say and then like he's like oh you're you die no yeah he was kind of like oh. oh 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 and he was like 15 or 20 minutes he still was like oh and I said, it's been too long, it's been so long, and I'm not gay if I lose. And I died, and he said, oh, you're gay. That seems kind of like a move. I know, and if I do that to him, he gets all mad, and he's like, oh, you know what, no, 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 no. And he says that, yeah, I died first, but I made the game, so, or I made it, so I can't be gay. Ask him if he's ever heard of homophobia. Gay people act really bad towards gay people as a way to cope with them being gay and them not understanding. Like, how the fuck does that work? Oh, I can't be gay since uh, I was mean to you first. Like, what the fuck? The amount of copium in that sentence alone is fucking too much. Where did you go? Down. There's a big cave entrance with torches in it. Go down there. And try not to get hit by anything since 
I get like three shot by things down here, you'll get like one or two shot. Housing, uh, the painter likes it down here, so. Welcome to the underground jungle. Now, hornet's nest? Yeah, don't go into it, it has a boss in there. A boss? Yeah. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games, anything. If I just walk up to it, I'll be teleported somewhere. Or will it just like spawn? You have to you have to go in there and break something in there. Which and it's very sensitive, so that's why I don't want anybody going near it. The boss is also You'll really... teleport you inside of it? No. The boss will just hunt you down ruthlessly and kill you if you're anywhere on the map. Since unlike all other bosses, Queen Bee cannot fucking despawn. So if she kills me once, she'll continue to kill me? No, so if she kills me and you're all the way at back at spawn, she'll fly all the way over to spawn just to kill you. It's like she has a personal grudge or some shit. So, if she kills you, then she'll fly over to me if I'm at, like, at spawn to kill me? Yes. Is she a hard boss to defeat? Not necessarily, maybe for us. In master mode, she's pretty difficult. But with good enough dodging skills and with enough patience, she'll be pretty easy to take down. Do you think that we can take her down? Uh, sometime eventually, yeah. What about like right now? Oh no, definitely not. We don't even have... I don't even have... I don't even have can I... 20 defense. So I'll get like can two Can I buffers. try to defeat her? No, since I want to build an arena here. And I want at least one good summon. Because we can make summons for her. They're just really annoying. Mule... Okay. I'm like... Oh, okay, yeah, I don't like this place. Wait, okay, where are you? I'm just exploring. How do I even... How do you even get down there? Uh, you explore. The fuck is this shit? That's a lot of money. I'm leaving this place immediately. Okay, Going if I home. think I... All right, we're gonna buy the forest pylon. Huh? What? I'm gonna buy the forest. I can't buy the forest pylon. Fuck. Guide is gonna be moved up here. Also, who is that person that you were with? That um NPC. That's the dryad. The what? The dryad. I mean, bring no, I have her down there so we can teleport to the jungle so we don't need to walk. So, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna buy... Wait, I already have another piggy bank somewhere, right? Yeah, right here. Wait, could you um put, like, one of these at the arena over there so it doesn't take that long to travel yeah, over there? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I have to buy the jungle pylon. So the way pylons work, they're a 1.4.4 thing. Basically, this is the forest pylon. This will only work in a forest biome. If there's NP there's two or more NPCs nearby, and if they're happy. So because there's more NPCs here, and because they're now happy because I moved somebody. Now, we can teleport from there, it, and when I go by the jungle pylon we'll be able to teleport from the underground jungle where i'm going to set up a queen bee arena all the way back to the base and back and forth as many times as we want so long as those pylons stay intact and the npcs don't die like npcs are key to them yes the pylons cannot work without npcs they sell them they make them work and overall, they're really useful for travel. Okay. 
Just like trying to follow you. Yeah, there's a angry person down there, so I'd be careful. Like, why are most of the biomes here dangerous besides that grass one? Uh, the, because they're all basically like, they're all based off of like how hard the area is. So because the jungle is a really difficult place, it has better loot and is also more useful in general. But, oh, but that forest area, um, the grassland, doesn't really have all that much good loot, but is overall more useful, or is overall more safer, because it doesn't have that good of loot. For instance, the corruption is pretty fucking dangerous, but has exceedingly good loot. Just generally because it's, well, a later game area. You're not even supposed to be there until after you have the Dryad. Because the game intended for you to buy Purification Powder from her. And use it on the Ebon Stone so you can mine it because it turns it into regular stone. However... Wait, there's Pylon. There's Python here. Yeah, I put, it, I put that there. Oh no, it's actually Tugstone is what I'm talking about. Oh. Tugstone. Tugstone. Tungsten. Tungsten. Fucking tungstone. And this tugstone is great. I know, right? So amazing. Oh my god, it's a worm in. Okay. Am I like going the right direction? Yeah. I'm... Barrel claws. Okay. Am I going the right way? You're going back up. Fuck! That was the wrong. That was the wrong thing. <gasps> okay. Here they are. Where did you go? I accidentally magic mirrored back home. I'm going back to the jungle. Uh, so you Where useful. we got- <gasps> Okay, you did install one here. So, so I you didn't have to do all that? No. I mean, you were already on your way, so you might as well. But yeah. Now we can teleport back home and here as many times as we want, so long as there's NPCs nearby that are happy enough. What's that white cave? That's called a marble mine. That's where you kill the hoplites to get that uh, gladiator armor. Why is there a giant hornet? Or why are there giant hornets? Because it's the jungle, my friend. Do they like only spawn right there? No, they spawn everywhere in the fucking jungle. Where they have fun games? Yeah. And where everything you want, just call out his name. Yeah, everything here, is, everything here is meant to kill you personally. You know, like the jungle where it has fun and games, where anything you want, just kind of name it, and where you're welcome to the jungle. Yeah, pretty much. Exactly like that, in fact. Couldn't have said it better myself, actually. You know what would be funny? We showed... Jackson, this but whenever he goes jungle, you immediately go fun. It has fun and games. <laughs> In fact, it does have fun and games. Believe it or not. I made my friend lose brain cells because it kept on going off. Like, I went, the Burger King, the BK $5 or, um, what, or have you, your weight meal? Well, like, it's a, it's Burger King five dollar. Have it your way meal. So believe it or not, dollars. you can have it your way. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, yes, it is in fact only five dollars, and it only exists yeah. for a limited time here at Burger King. No, but I kept going like because the BK five dollar or your way meal is is your way, but five dollars. It's BK 
me five dollar your way. I think and then I went off about. I think I'm starting to get at what you're uh, saying. So what you're trying to sell it, say is that it um, it is in fact a BK meal, right? Right. It's five dollars, and I get to have it my way. That's insane. I, I think you're lying about that. There's no way that for five dollars at BK and only at BK. Do I get to have a meal that's five dollars that I get my way? That's pretty insane right there. And then I started going off about how birds are government drones and uh, how they're putting government not, ships in yeah, the BK. You lost me. I, I was and following you I on the BK five dollar your way meal. The moment you started talking about fucking government drones and birds and shit, you lost me. It's like how Ben Shapiro yeah, said, lost 95% of his audience retention. Yeah, I kept on going like, like they're putting government chips. Government chips are going into the BK meal. He said, and he kept on you saying, left I'm using brain cells. On. You left a fucking crater in the earth. Your mom left a crater. When your mom falls, he leaves a crater. When your mother perishes, we all feel sad and feel you, bro. Not okay when with the loved one. When <laughs> your mother dies and her body decomposes, the Earth will immediately be, be shot back into space upwards because her weight, because her weight was holding us down. Physic. <laughs> your mom so fat when she landed on a bee. It crushed its finger. Your mother was so orb was so morbidly obese that when she died. Morbidly. <laughs> me when the doctor tells me I'm morbidly obese, just like my favorite Marvel <laughs> superhero. Mor me when the it's, it's tells morbid me I'm morbidly time. obese. <laughs> morbidly <laughs> obese. I'm gonna fucking lose it any day now. <laughs> Bombs. Is, is it because of BK's five dollar ah, your way meal? Ah, ah, Bay, I'm fucking dying. Walter, help me, I'm dying, Walter. Walter, Walter, help me, I'm dying, Walter. Waffle, your mom is so um, is so. Walter, help me, I'm dying, Walter. The sulfuric acid, it's not good for your balls, Walter. Waffle, join us. No, don't. don't your join mom. Us. Don't join us. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. Terrain. What? The BK. Five dollar your way meal. Wait, wait, wait. Slow BK's down. Case you're telling me. You're telling you me your way that meal. I get to have a BK meal that is my way. What tail do you have? The fish. Oh. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Hey, I have a hard nature's gift. Do you want it? Sure. It's real, it's real hard. Hard nature's gift. <laughs> oh, plus one defense? Pog. It also increases your mana regenerate by like, a little bit. That's a very good magic item. Because if you combine it with uh, a standard mana potion, it will create the mana flower. I... I literally don't have it anywhere to Fuck put you. it. <laughs> Did you know that Waffle says the N-word like a bunch? <laughs> she really loves the N-word. Uh, 37. <laughs> But yeah, waffles. I'm Jesus, actually the an word under, a lot. I'm actually on. an undercover IRS agent here to uh, ask about your uh, 
thought it was extended warranty. Okay, but actually, to be serious, Wahoo says the N word like way she too does, much. does, actually, not even joking. She says it like she... all the time in VR chat. She cosplays as a gay <laughs> oh, racist. Thank you. She cosplays as a gay racist furry all the time. And she says how much. She says how much. <laughs> she was called a. You, you should have known what would have happened had you given us free speech. She says, like, the N word 20 times. Like, you should tell her parents I'd... to stop giving her the VR headset. Tell her parents to stop giving her the VR headset. She also is an alcoholic. Yep, she's, she drinks every time I stream. It's really annoying. She is also like very. She is extremely gay. Yeah. <laughs> that that violently was true. Violently gay. That, that was. She's true. violently gay. That was true. <laughs> she abuses her. She abuses her mate. She also preys on an innocent eleven-year-old child. <laughs> They're she says that 11. she should. She says that she like should talk. She's. She said Tell Waffle. Her. She has told us. Waffle has told. Totoro's eleven, and you are trying to date her. That's extremely rude of you. It's still disgusting. She also likes to date people younger than her on oh, yeah, VR yeah, chat. Definitely. She goes up and sexually harasses random children that she sees online. <laughs> she likes to randomly kiss people that ran then run away. And then likes to And then she likes to gaslight them. That she likes to gaslight them that until <clears throat> No, because I have a father. Oh no, I said father. I mean my biological, not my mom's dad, not my mom's husband. I can't wait for him like... to yell at you for not doing your homework. Wait, you should let us talk to your dad. You should let us talk to your dad. Yeah, you should absolutely give your dad... Give your... Give your dad your headset and let us talk to him. Nothing can possibly go wrong. I want to talk to him about politics. Tell him, Father okay. Wa Papa Waffle, is it true the taxes in Canada are in fact lower than they are in the United States? What? Is hockey the equivalent? Is hockey in Canada the equivalent of football in America? Does this skirt make my ass look fat? <laughs> <laughs> Just had to drop a nuclear warhead into the situation as always. Waffle sexually harasses terrain. Brain, right? I'm not being sexually preyed upon. I am the sexual predator. <laughs> to be fair, she you should have seen this. She hates coming. her cousin. She's, she says that she absolutely despises her cousin. She calls she you the she, inward she like. She wishes that she were dead, honestly. She likes to call her cousin the N-word every single night. Yeah. It makes all of us really un- It makes all of us really uncomfortable. Cause we're just trying to play Minecraft and have fun, and then Waffle's coming in here and spreading hate. It makes all of us extremely uncomfortable. She's called me the N-word like a thousand times already. Yeah. She says in her sleep. 
Weren't you the one who didn't say anything when I was defending you and being a little bitch about it? I don't know. Stand up for yourself. You're not fucking crippled, are you? You play VR yeah, like chat with your limbs. legs. You are you mentally disabled? Chat? That's fucking pathetic. That that's a oh, whole wait. other level. She of plays pathetic. VR. Oh, she plays VR chat. She's mentally disabled. Brain, she plays VR chat. She's mentally disabled. Ah, oh, I forgot about that part. <laughs> hey, Hornet. I can't wait Time for Doge to get by slime. I can't wait for Doge to get one shot. <laughs> oh, wait, I can make a lightning boots. Waffle says how mean her cousin is to her. And how much of an N-word she is. Waffle is a pick-me girl. <laughs> You're Waffle, the pick -meest of girls. Walk, Waffle is a pick-me girl, 100%. No doubt in my mind. She... Oh wait, what's this purple ore? It's called Demonite. You cannot mine it, it without good? a pickaxe. Uh, it's the shit that drops from Aya Cthulhu. So is it good? I mean, like, what's the point of mining it? We can get it anyways. Yeah. I mean, you're supposed you're- I- I only mine it if I'm doing speedrun strats via, like, trying to get a really good weapon before Eye of Cthulhu. I just opened up a golden chest and I blew up. Oh yeah, that's a dead man's chest. Can I open it, or is it like... No, it, the chest is still there. Chest cannot be destroyed unless by the player. You just got debated though, so, you know. There's so a, can there's I a... still open it, or does oh, it always yeah. explode? No, it only detonates once. There might be traps around it though. Can you please check to see if the I loot... I don't know where it is. I'm not gonna go risk my ass for it. I'm not gonna go risk my ass for a flare gun, a mace, or Hermes boots, alright? How do I use the... Ooh, a heart statue. I will risk my ass for that, though. That is worth it. A heart statue? Yeah. That's, like, extremely good. Hey, we made her leave. That's a heart crystal. I'm gonna go mine that. Where's Jackson? I don't fucking know. Honestly, man, like, we should, you know, like, remat him. Well, they found the lizard temple. Lizard temple? The lizard temple. Lizard temple. Yes. Where even are you? In the jungle? Where they have fun in games? Yes, precisely. Uh, you're not on my map. Probably because I'm so far away. Yes, the boomstick. Welcome to the jungle. All right, Doji, go back. Doji, go back to spawn. Oh, perfect. You're already mm -hmm. here. What do we do? Here's a shotgun, my guy. You can sell your musket now. <clears throat> oh, I kind of like the musket. The mus- that's better than the musket. Because that shoots like four bullets and it's faster. <coughs> can I just- can I keep it? Put it? Just in case? Put it in your piggy bank or something. But don't rely on the musket. If you have too many weapons oh. that you're trying to use, your inventory will get clogged up and you won't be able to do anything. Okay. Alright, I have 200. I should get like more bullets. Yeah, you should get like not. You should get like 10,000 of them. And then you'll be should set. I, like, use all my money on them? Yeah, because pretty much your only source of damage currently is. Well, bullets. Since you haven't made any good arrows. 
Of which, do you still have that demon bow that I gave you? Yeah. Perfect. You're gonna be using that against the worm. And you're squiggly, also gonna squiggly worm. Yeah, you're also gonna be using uh, the jester arrows. Squiggly squiggly worm. Yeah, you're gonna be using it against the, the against the hungry hungry caterpillar. Squiggly squiggly. He's the wiggliest and squiggliest of worm. Full jungle armor, baby. Let's go. I know this. 1, I know that this is a magic set. However, it gives me good defense, and it's the best I have right now. So don't yell at me. I'm gonna yell at you. Ah. Mm. Okay, wait, I want to try this. Boomstick. Is this the boomstick? Yeah, it's a shotgun. I thought the boomstick was like a explosive summoner. Like, there was explosives. No, it's a shotgun. That's why I said substitute it out for your musket. Like, it's very I in thought that it's very inaccurate, but god damn is it powerful. That's one of the best pre-hard mode ranged weapons in the game. Like, period. I thought that you were like... I thought that was like summer we summoner weapon and you were like using the shotgun. No. I was using this, and this is a whip. And Nene? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Okay, so... We're, so we're gonna go and fight the worm? Uh, yeah. The we The wiggly squiggly worm. Wait, should we have Jackson here? No. Jackson won't do anything. Okay. And basically, all Jackson will do is piss off the hungry, hungry caterpillar. But before we do that, I'm gonna use one of these. Yeah, quick one. What does that do? Perfect. I've already fucking been here before, game. What? I've also Just already fucking been here. Why would you use a potion to teleport to me? Wait. I used my teleportation potions to see if I can find any cool areas of the map. <laughs> you just wasted I just wasted a wormhole. You just wasted a wormhole. That's exactly what you did. I thought that you were already there. No. I mean, I wish okay, I was. So like, are you no. going right? Like, yeah. are you going right now? Yeah. Or? I'm gonna get my buffs in order, and then. Uh, also, Wait, make... you have buffs? Yeah, I have potions. There's a keg. There is a keg. That's yeah, but... that's only used for alcohol. It's not all, really all that good. All right. Yeah. Uh. Uh, do we have any water bottles? No. Okay, how much day bloom do we have? Six? Okay, that'll work. Um... That's a lot. That'll work way fucking better. Yeah, I also have my, um, thing equipped it. My... How much iron... Gun. How much... How much iron ore do we have? I have four iron bars. I need iron ore. Like, as much as we can fucking get. I'm gonna make a quick potion station. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Also, I'll also the uh, Abigail's flower. Yeah, make sure you have that on, because even though it's, like, one damage, it's still damage. Okay, stay up there. I'm gonna go mine some iron for potions. <clears throat> okay, I, I also have spiky balls. Those aren't really all that useful. Read me all the weapons you have, and I'll tell you the ones that you should be using. Okay, <laughs> I hop my hoppers, short sword, the copper why, pickaxe. Why? Okay. <clears throat> You're ranged, right? Bin the copper short okay, sword I'll and forget sword. about it. Forever. Bin it? Yeah. Bin it and forget about it. Okay. Range 
people should not be using melee weapons, especially garbage melee weapons. Okay, I'll, I'll equip the demonic spear. No. <gasps> Actually, I'll use the grenades. Also, no. So which do I use? The guns that you have, Doji. Use the fucking gun. Wait, should I replace the grenades with the musket? Where the fuck is your mini shark? Where the fuck is your boomstick? It's right here. I okay. I have one Doji. empty slot in my hot bar. Doji, I'm gonna read you. Okay, remove everything from your hot bar. I will fucking hold your hand on what your hot bar should look like. I can't believe I have to do this. <clears throat> Okay, let me know when your hotbar is completely 100% empty. Oh, I have a bunch- I have 25 iron ore. That would've been nice to know. Gimme. You want it? Yes, gimme. I need to- I need- I need it to make good potions. Okay. So. Okay. What should my- What should my thing- Okay. Number one? Your boomstick. Number two, your mini shark. Number three, your pickaxe. Wait, give me a second. You're going too fast. Okay, so first my boomstick. Yep. Second. Mini shark. Okay. Your pickaxe, and then your axe. Um, <laughs> I don't have an axe. You don't have an axe? Well, get one. Oh, that's in one of these chests. You can buy one from the merchant for like 20 silver. The merchant here? Yeah. Oh, Alfred? Yeah. Okay, axe. Wait, what about the bow? Oh. Oh, uh, actually, okay. substitute out the mini shark for the bow, and how many jester arrows do you have? Uh, not that. Wait, um, should I... Um, should I move everything up so I can put the bow right next to everything else? No. You want the bow in your hot bar so you can quickly cycle through it. The only two weapons you should have I know, on it's... for this boss fight are the boomstick for damage, and the mini shark, or the, or sorry, boomstick for damage, and the bow for pierce. Everything else is not useful. The musket's too slow, and the mini shark doesn't do enough damage to break apart the, the worm. The bow will be able to pierce the, will be able to pierce the worm, and the boomstick will be able to do consistent damage. Yeah, I'll have all of that. No, I'll keep the um, potions and the Abigail's flower. Mm -hmm. And the spiky balls? No spiky balls. They okay. do, they'll be doing like one damage every like quarter of a second, which is not enough when this thing has 10,000 HP. So basically, summon the Abigail's flower and just have that on constantly. Alright. Well, where's the traveling merchant? I want to see what he has first. He doesn't have anything good, I'm gonna be honest. It's all, like, really expensive vanity and, like, building stuff. Alright, where did he go? He's in the jungle. No. Oh. So, if you want to go and... check him real quick, use the pylon, but otherwise, I'm gonna start heading over. Also, Oh. So, your quick buff thing is X, correct? Oh no, that's, um, my quick thing, or the thing that what's your quick, puts on the mount. What's your quick buff, since you're gonna want that? <clears throat> so with this, I'll be having 31 defense, which for wearing just mage armor, Pretty good. Oh, it has something that I really want. What? Um, crimson cloak. Oh, I can buy that for you. 
Could you please? Yeah. Alright. Here you go. Thank you. Yep. Alright. Uh. Do you have a quick buff set? Because if you don't, then you're gonna have a bad time. Ba -ba -ba. I'm serious, you're not gonna have fun with this boss if you don't have a quick buff set. So I'm gonna give you a couple potions that are gonna be extremely useful. Wait, what does this book even do? Nothing, it's just decoration. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, where's the dryad, actually? Okay. Quick oh, there she buff. is. She's inside that's, of the fucking... That's... Okay, my quick buff, that's L in our... In our... Joy. Don't Joy. set it to that. Set it to something like a D-pad or X. I have my quick mount set to, uh... Left on the D-pad. So, and I have my quick buff set to X. You know, I just sent it. I just said to write on D pad. Okay, that works. So, pretty much, I'm gonna give you a few of these potions. And you're gonna just. drink all of them using your quick buff when the boss is summoned in. Okay. So, I have a few of these potions, so I'll just give you, like, a whole lot of those. I only have one of these. I'll give you a few of these. The Shine and Night Owl are just to make it so you can see easier. And, uh... Wait, will the Magic Mirror work when I use Quick Buff? No. Quick Buff is potions only. So, potions and food. Food is pretty useful now that I think about it, so I'm gonna grab a food item out of here. Uh... How do I take half of something? <laughs> uh, you, um... Let me see. You just hit left trigger to split it. Okay. And you could just choose how much of whatever you want to put in there. I think I have a different... Setting. Okay. Um. How many jester arrows do you have in your ammo slot? Not that many. How many? Let's. Okay. So how many do you have? Do I have okay, any day bloom seeds, like at all? Um. It, oh, never mind. I have 810 jester arrows. Oh, perfect. That'll be plenty. So fire your demon bow. That's the wrong type of arrow. Trash every arrow that isn't a jester arrow, because you don't want to accidentally. Trash. Yeah, because a because you could buy them all in bulk for like less okay, than a let gold. Let me just put it. I just put it in my picky bank. Okay. Because I'm not just like gonna give all this up. There's also the unholy arrow. No, you want jester arrows because they pierce. You'll see what I mean once you actually shoot the jester arrow at the boss. And the boss's health bar melts like fucking butter. Yep, that's the right arrow. Basically, you're just gonna non-stop shoot that into the boss until it stops moving. This shark gets like so slow when it comes to like running. Yeah, you don't have to wait for it. Yeah, you know, just so, seeing it like slowly run back or go back. Also, keep in mind your rocket boots or slash specter boots 
will let you avoid fall damage if you uh, fly just before you hit the ground. So, try it. Jump all the way down. Before you hit the ground, fly. Yep, just like that. Yeah, I have to take a couple of stop trips of you with them down here. How many bosses do we have to fight here? Uh, we only have to fight the one. I just made this little arena, just so that way it's easier. But I might make a. Uh, Wait, I thought that we. I, I thought that these guys couldn't spawn underground. No, they can. They'll spawn anywhere in the corruption where there's uh, light or where there's uh, space. Yeah, that's why I had to use the boomstick. It basically one shots them with a banner. So stay here. I'm gonna go buy bombs so I can uh, go break the orbs, and you're just gonna stay there so I can teleport back. Okay then. There's this one. Like really wants to get me, but he can't. Yeah. Okay. There's this. Uh. Stay over there. Okay. Because when I okay. Hello. Also, uh, make sure your screen is zoomed all the way out, so you could actually see where the boss is. Okay, so that means I have to break one more. Wait, did I get the a sh horrible chill? It goes down your spine. Hey, I got the light pet. That's pretty cool. What does to me feel a chill down your spine? Uh, that's just telling. That's like a warning saying, "Hey, you broke a shadow orb. The boss is gonna spawn in one more go." So after I break this one, never mind. I have to break one more. Hey, I got another ball of hurt. Screams that go around you. What do the shadow balls like even do here? Uh, they drop good loot, which is how I got your musket and the ball of hurt and stuff like that. So like, it basically like controls this world? Not really. I have to buy more fucking explosives, I'll be back. Okay. Basically, these are just near, like, are they usually close to each other? Kind of. Also, who is Abigail in the Don't Starve series? Uh, she's one of the characters, little si like dead little or older sister that uh, like died, and so how? I don't know. Maybe she starved. Maybe she was eaten by a bear or some shit. I don't know. Oh, I just got another ancient shadow helmet. Unless this is yours. Did you unequip your helmet? Oh no, I still have one. Oh, okay, I still have mine. Well, then I'll give it to Jackson or something. So, basically, like, she, was she, like, left out somewhere? I have no idea. Uh, I need you to Behind you. Yeah, I need you to defend me since you're the one with, like, the strong weapon. Alright, here he is, big worm okay. boy. There he is. Don't, of do world. not let his head hit you. Uh, buff up. He just... Buff up. Okay. Wait. Okay. And use your use your bow. Use your demon bow. Notice how it pierces. That's why I had you use that thing. Okay, it's circling me. Yeah, you jump out. Use your. If it ever circles you like that, use your um, slime. So you just immediately bounce right out of it. Like you see, I'm stuck there. Okay, so like. Do we have to aim for the head, or...? No, basically just hit it where there's body parts. Just hit the worm and it will do damage. But try not to shoot. Oh, but it splits! Yeah, it, it splits. It splits. The good thing I like about this boss is you only get the treasure bag for beating it, but you still get, like, a bunch of uh, loot for killing its segments, which is good. Don't get stuck like that. Don't get stuck like that. It can still hit you over there. Crap! 
Okay, like I'm trying to get okay, potions. Okay, it's, ba it's back over. It's, ba it's back over on me. You can uh, run back over here. Wait, I'm like trying to find. Okay, lesser. Okay. Do you not have a quick heal potion button set? No. A after this boss fight, set it. It can save your life and most likely will. So many fucking worms. Dude, this is what I. This is what I said when I. This is what I meant when I said the fucking uh, worm or the slimy saddle is god tier when it comes to this fight. Absolutely hate. Oh shit. Don't die. I won't. It's only got 300 HP left. If I, as long as I don't get hit by it, like head on, I'll be fine. As I get hit, head like I'll on, still get the loot thing, right? Most likely, yeah. I can see why it's called Destroyer World. Oh, I got the pet! I got the pet! Yo! What's the pet? It's a baby one. Okay. Wait, I didn't get it. Yeah, you, you have to come and collect your treasure bag. Okay. And, your boy also got a worm scarf. Now, the worm scarf is by far probably the single best accessory in all of Terraria. Like, top three, easily. It will permanently, as long as you have it equipped, it will reduce all of the damage you take forever by 17%. That is a fucking lot. Wait, what? Oh, wait, you're still fighting it. No, I'm not. But it still says that there's 3 HP. It does? <laughs> huh. Well, there's not. I'm ta I'm unfortunately taking off the step stool in favor of something that is by far more useful. Yeah, it still says that there's 3 HP over here. Well, there's... Mm. It's very much dead, I can tell you that. Well, if you, like, leave that alone, will you start, like, destroying the world? No. It's called the Eater of Worlds as its, like, boss name, but it doesn't actually do anything. It's just a big ass just worm. A... No bosses, except for like some, can destroy blocks. And even then, the only boss that can will only do so in a special uh, world seed. Yeah, it still says that there's like 3 HP. Huh. Well, go come over this way and see if you, if you uh, get your thing. Oh, it's here. Did you pick up your bag? Perfect. Well, now, teleport. Yeah, we're gonna go. Yeah, teleport home because it dropped a lot of money. Oh, that's your pet. Yeah, I got a little baby version of it. Eater of Souls Panther. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, did you get like that golden statue of it? Yeah, I got the relic. Jackson is gonna be is gonna like come back. Jackson's gonna get one shot by everything. Gonna be like, how did you guys get some, some stuff? Nightmare pickaxe. Uh, give me all of your. Basically. Actually, hang on. I just have like a bunch of ore in here from when we fought the Aya Cthulhu. All right, I'm making you a full set of shadow armor. Give me your shadow scales. That you got from your bag and shadow scales yeah they're, li they're little circle looking thingies by the way take all of this and equip it it's better than everything you have by a lot wait it's better it's better than the other than the helmet 
I'm currently with. Yes. What oh, helmet? Ancient chef. No helmet. Oh wait, these pants are better than the gladiator. At that whole armor set I gave gave you is better. Not to mention you get a set bonus for it. Thank you. Yep. Scale scales. All right, now give me all of your shadow scales and demonite. I got that angry worm. Oh, you got a worm? You got the worm scarf? Cool. Put it on. Put it on and keep Where it on. I... You will never ever take that thing off, no matter what. Got it? Okay, I'm there... replacing it with a step stool. Yeah, there is no downside of having the worm scarf on. Like, it reduces all damage you take by a lot and that's it it's not like you know it's like wings there's no downside of having it and you get it so early in the game that it's basically a free win Anyways, hand me the rest of your uh, shadow scales and demonite so I can make uh, more stuff. Okay. What are you Oh. Yep, here you go. Who do those even make? I need your demonite too. I need it to make uh, okay. better armor so I can summon more minions. And. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to the guide and see if demonite's used for anything, and if it's not, like, I'm gonna make you a better pickaxe and a better <gasps> axe. Um, okay, yeah, the, um, fox lady, she updated her stuff. Oh, cool. <clears throat> There's the mollusk whistle, so it's a writable flamingo, bunny ears, and a dog license. Alright, I'm buying the dog license. Uh, here's a better pickaxe. Here's a better axe. Mr. Guide Man, what can uh, Demon Knight be used for? Oh. What well, if he, like, one day just has your mom? Hmm. But yeah, like, what if one day he just, like, says your mom? That would be funny. It can make the Magna Lupinescence, whatever the fuck that is. Uh, kind of useful. You can also make shadow candles, which nullify the peaceful benefits of a town. So basically, you know how at night zombies won't spawn near our town because there's villagers? If I put one of those down, mobs will start spawning like crazy. Marshall, he's a, he's a dog outside. Yeah. Wait, will you ever like, come inside? Yeah, he'll teleport into a house at night. But as for now, I am rolling in money, and I'm gonna buy... How much money do you have? I have, like, 60 gold. I'm gonna spend it all on dynamite. Wait, 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 wait. Could you get me one thing? What? The oh, whistle? No, it's not really... It's not better than what you're using. And also... It's expensive as fuck. How do I Oh, only... the bunny How... ears... You can buy them yourself. You got so much money from the boss. Oh, no, I'm not gold. I only have nine gold uh, left because I bought like 200 sticks of dynamite, but it's worth it because I'm going to build a elevator. Oh, wait, are we going to fight the wall of flesh next? No. You think we're fucking prepared for that shit? I thought that was like one of the beginner bosses. That's the boss that you kill to get into hard mode. <clears throat> Wait, you have to earn hard mode? Yeah, you have to earn hard mode, my guy. It also I gives you had to like choose it. No. Don't stand at this hole, like at all.
What's that? Oh, for me, it just like lagged to like one part of it. If you could like hold a torch or something, that'd be pretty useful. Ow. Okay. That took out all of my HP. I mean, you didn't die, so like, that's a lie. It left me on 50 <clears throat> HP from one stick of dynamite blowing up. There you go. Actually, those are probably more useful, thanks. You're welcome. Ow. Fuck. I just detonated. I'll be back down there in a second. In the meantime, there's look, a, look there's for an iron, an iron statue of an of um. Cool. cool. Hmm. We okay. I'm um, saw a house looking thing. There's yeah. a house. Yeah. Those are the underground houses that contained pretty good loot. Don't stand. Oh wait, we've already. Don't been stand near those. <clears throat> <clears throat> wait, why can't you stand near the houses? No, the dynamite. Okay. The zombie just commits suicide. That's a skeleton, but okay. A sick Tokyo. Why are we going down there? Uh, for Hellstone? Okay. Oh, Sparkle. Uh, we're going down there for Hellstone and Obsidian, so I can make better armor, we can get Jackson some good shit, and so I can skip Queen Bee entirely, so I don't need to kill her for the next best summon weapon. I do this every time I play Summoner. The moment I kill the Eater of Worlds, I always, always, always just... That did a lot of damage. <gasps> Your gravestone just hit me in the head and made me fall. Did it... Wait, my graves, gravestones do damage to hell? That's what just happened. What? I thought that was only a get fixed boy thing. I didn't know that my gravestone falling on you would kill you. Like that seems no, obvious. It didn't kill me. It that hit, seems it really. Hit me. That seems really obvious. But like, I did not know that gravestones falling on people could kill could kill them. If that was going fast enough, that would have killed you. Oh, like, it didn't kill me. It knocked me down. Why? I hate this stone. It place here. You're just too annoying. <laughs> What the fuck? Hey, worm. Worm. Nice one. I'm gonna go and look at the new N at a new NPC. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do that too. I like the party girl. It's one of my favorite NPCs as well. Confetti gun? I were counting? Pretty well, I guess. Center? Party hat? Sleep like, machine? I like the party girl because of the change of music that she offers. It's a bit more refreshing. She has a bubble wand. Yep. I'm gonna try the little trick.
This is my pet dog, Adam, going for his first swim. Adam! Adam! Do you remember? Do you get the joke? No. Oh, it's a meme. So basically, like, this woman, she has a pet duck. That, um, <clears throat> she, like, lets her out to a, like, to a lake to swim. Because, like, I guess it's been a while since he has swam. And he, like, immediately runs away. Nice. <clears throat> Motherfucker. Like, you can hear her being saddened by her voice. You can hear the disparity in her voice. I also built the elevator right here instead of closer to our house because, um, yeah, the corruption will spread in hard mode and this will limit the spread as much as possible. Why? What the fuck? Okay, I just got a health crystal. Nice. I have 280 health. How much do you have? 240. Okay. Spelunker potion. Yeah, that reveals all nearby ore and treasure. So pots, ore. Um, Should I use it? Sure. Pots, ore, treasure chests. And uh, yeah. What's so good about statues? Not really too much. I l I wanted that heart statue because uh, if I power it, eventually it will uh, spawn hearts. Like the heart uh, items you can pick up off the ground, and they'll heal you. Okay, so basically, like treasure, it'll just spawn treasures. No, it won't spawn life crystals. It will spawn hearts. Like, you ever kill a slime or like- No, the treasure- No, the treasure ones. <gasps> okay, yep, I see, um, a life crystal. Okay, go grab it. Oh, fucking a skeleton just spawned on top of me. Okay, I found two. Oh, cool. You know, like, I would really appreciate it if you would, like, help me. With what? Watching them. Goji, you can mine them with your pickaxe. I know, but, like, yeah. I'm also kind of busy here. No, I get it. I get it. Like, there's a life crystal right here that I'm collecting. I just found a cloud in a bottle. I feel like you'll love that. Mm -hmm. It's better than mine, so I'm equipping this one. I have a spare cloud in a bottle. It uh, gives you double jump. So you'll be able to use it right before you start flying with your specter boots. Side of the rail. Okay, it leads to nowhere. That's cool. It does, in fact, go down. Caves and cliffs update. Alright. So here's a cloud in a bottle. They're really useful, so I recommend that you have that on at least until you get something better.
I almost just died. You can use both of those life crystals that you found since you have less HP. I I just hit Stop it, worm. I just hit 300, so I'm fine. I'm gonna hit 280. Nice. That's the amount we should have been at when we were starting to fight the uh, worm, but we were a bit overprepared. I completely forgot how easy the worm is when you have piercing weapons, a big enough arena, and a whole hell of a lot of iron skin potions. I, okay, I need you to kill that fucker. Oh wait, no, I still have the... Again, like... Spider! It's a spider! I'm so glad that tutor wasn't here to hear me say that. <gasps> okay, hard crystal, hard crystal, hard crystal. Okay, yep, it just stopped, but I think I know. Yep. Of course, I have to fall. <clears throat> Are we here? No, this isn't hell, this is the cavern lair. Sorry, I'm gonna have to take off the floaty. Wait, yeah, no, I can just put it on. Could have gone back Wait. Yeah, I think it's good now. I almost just killed myself. That wouldn't have been good. Don't step in the lava. Believe it or not, it's not good for you. Unlike e621.net, for which it's great for you. <laughs> Remember, kids, do what he says. Yep. I am a beacon of honesty, truth, and a role model to young children everywhere. Give me your credit card information. Can you see the green paper that has the faces on it? You should, you should mail it. You should put it in a box, seal it. I wouldn't stand and, there. And and write on and put a stamp on it and write to one seven seven one Parker Lane. That's definitely Doji's real address. Hundred percent. Definitely. I just I literally just dox my. Remember, guys, go and shoot the person out. 177, 1771 Parker Lane. That's definitely me. The poor old bastard that lives there. Some poor kid is gonna get dumped. <gasps> Wait. I think that's enough. I'm pretty sure that was gonna explode. Be like right next to it. Ah! Uh, don't stand there. You're you're dead. You're dead. You're you're you are 
one very toasty marshmallow. That poor slime, man. That poor slime. That poor fucking slime. <laughs> he was just bleed into lava. Like, poor guy, Don't stand man. There. <laughs> I hate you! I told you not to stand there. The worm! <laughs> the worm committed suicide. <laughs> I'm 67 silver. Oh no, you're poor 67 silver. <laughs> I know. People say that we should kill all furries. No, if you do that, the entire American IT industry will be crippled overnight. Do you understand? <laughs> Do you understand the ramifications of, of your actions? All furries be like, Oh, whoa, I'm just a cute little fox with no thoughts, head empty, and then have, like, a doctorate in mechanical engineering of nuclear physics or some shit. Did you know that in, um, the Bible it says that if a man has sexual relations with an animal, the animal should be killed and so should the man? Yeah, also in the Bible, that Jesus, uh, fucking murdered, like, of, like, 25 children because their parents were sinners. So. It also says in the Bible that gay sex is allowed. I'm like looking at the map to see if there's like gonna be something where I'm gonna land on something to kill myself. <laughs> okay, yep, like this is where I need to be careful. Okay. Yep, I got down to your level. There's a cockney bay of all. There's a Cockney beetle nearby. Cool. It's a co What's that? It's a cockney beetle. It's um. What? Like a. It's like one of the. It's like a beetle, but it has dye. Web slinger equipable. It's a. It's a grappling hook. Oh, well, thanks for that. Oh, I. Oh, I wanted it. You want it? It's not really all that good. Yeah. It's worse than the grappling <gasps> hook you currently have. Wait, like, how can it be worse? Like, aren't they, like, just different kinds of skins? No. Some grappling hooks have farther, some of them shoot more. Like, my grappling hook shoots three. Yours only shoots one. But what about that one? That one shoots eight, like a spider's legs, but has, like, no range. Oh, okay, never mind. Are you getting closer to it? Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm out of ex- Never mind, I found more explosives in my back pocket. Don't throw on not sticky bombs, it's not worth it. They're inaccurate. Why? They're inaccurate. And... They also bounce, like, way too much. Also, like, if you grapple somewhere, like, will it stay there, like, forever? Not forever. What the fuck did I just say? Wait, you're down here? Doji, although I just died, I can still see you. <gasps> okay, yep. We're almost at the bottom of this place. How far down are we? Maybe... Uh, we got like almost at the end of a couple dozen. If you sticks like of go out, like all the way out, yeah, I saw it. Then you can see like it. the background. Yeah, I'll buy twenty dynamite. Okay, but like the background, it I'm aware, looks Doji. like a door. It's a cavern. What? It's a cavern. Door. It, it reflects what biome you're in. Okay. 
I can see just falling. I'm also lighting up the uh, way down here. Okay, that's good. Just watching your feet decrease and going on the map and just seeing you fall. Do you quicken as you fall? Like the fall just gets faster? No, you. What the fuck? What the fuck, game? Can we just hear gravestones fall and hit me on the head? No, it already landed somewhere next to me. There's only like two ways to make you fall faster. That being equipping a mount that has you uh, fall faster, like the slime mount or the pogo stick, or holding the portal gun. Like, look how fast I'm falling right now. You're falling? Yeah, look how fast I'm falling right now. Oh. And then, yeah. This is what the slime mount. Did you just turn it on? Yeah, I'm fucking zooming. Yeah, it went. It. God fucking damn it, that web chest. Hey, you know that chest with the grappling hook in it? <laughs> Go break it. Please. Because what if, because we're gonna die to that chest all the damn time, so please just go break it. Why? What the fuck? It's like, too dangerous. I'm starting to really hate the shield of Cthulhu. Why? Because I act because I keep double tapping my move button to try to inch my way closer to the middle, and I shield a Cthulhu into like a random outcrop and just fucking die. You should put a python down here. No, Doji. Fuck this bullshit, I'm just gonna teleport to you. I fucking hate you. Hope you know that. <laughs> okay, the skeleton had hit me down and I quickly grappled. Did you at least break <clears throat> the chest like I asked you to? No, I couldn't get up there. Goji, you have a grappling hook and the ability to fly. I hate that ghost. Like, I really hate that ghost. <clears throat> Man just hates us, so he stays down there. <laughs> Traveling merchant. That's lava. Well, I'm gonna How die. Do you so think I might as well here. Yep. How do you think it would be to, um, like, if they think you're falling, and you just suddenly teleported somewhere onto the ground? Do you think that, like, your leg would break? No. Because teleporting because, like, reduces your speed to basically, like... No, like, in real life. Yeah. If you're it, falling. It would, yeah, like, in real life, your speed it would be reduced to basically nothing. No, but, like... Say that oh, the you hunter were, like, cloak. Falling. I want that one. I'm, fuck the mysterious like, cape. I want the hunter cloak. What about the um blue chicken egg? I don't have enough money for that. No, I need those shadow scales. I need those for the obsidian outlaw armor. And actually, I need the fucking. I need this shit too. Katana. I'll watch. Fuck, I need those too. I need goddamn everything that I'm trying to sell. What if I sell the, the boomstick? You'll regret it? Okay. What is actually... Something that's 
that's really useful. They're not you, but, but like something that I can give away. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck your inventory looks like. This shadow, these, this shadow thing is like only a few iron or copper or no silver. What shadow thing? The shadow scale? No, the shadow armor. Which one? The ancient? No, just the shadow stuff. You know, the shadow armor. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, because it was pretty goddamn cheap to make. But it's good, right? Maybe. I look like... something. I like my little hunter cloak. You click like that you're trying to cosplay as, like, the death from Puss in I look like I'm trying to cosplay as Ralsei from fucking Deltarune. Kinda wish that I had a hunter cloak. Crap, how much money do I have? It's 15 gold, it's not worth it. I'm only doing it to complete my vanity set. Okay. Can jump down the hole. Okay. Have fun. We can come over here. I want to do a bit. Excuse me, Mr. Guide. What the fuck do I need to make the obsidian outlaw stuff? Oh yes, obsidian. Thanks, genius. I didn't know that. <laughs> Do I need to be in an anvil? A hellforge? Well, fuck. Yeah? What? What? Wee! Wait. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was good. Go. Super, Ma Super Mario Brothers. I was gonna jump down and, and I was gonna say Mario. Yep. It's a me, Mario. <laughs> this fucking pit is so goddamn dangerous. Probably a salamander being burned alive. Don't worry though, <coughs> they're bad guys, so we don't care. Wait, what? They're bad? Yeah, salamanders, they'll attack you. So we don't Why? like Why? I don't know. Same reason any wild animal would attack you for entering their home. I'm um, technically, we have been here, so. You're telling me that if I entered your home without asking, without notice, that technically it would be my home. No. Exactly. Just saying me. I mean, he could ask us to leave. They don't speak fucking English. How many bombs Hello? do you have? Six. All right. I need you to turn them into sticky bombs. I need um craft. No, you do not. Okay, no, I don't. Thank you. These are bouncy grenades. Bomb.
I want your grappling hook. Well, I earned mine. Fuck! I have 6 HP. This is not a very poggers moment. 5. Top 5 on poggers moments that will make you throw up and commit suicide. This is not poggy woggy. I'm sorry, I'll fucking kill myself Shut up! Now. Oh, I'm sorry. No, don't. Like, honestly, I need you here. Just slap yourself in real life. Okay. That's a worm. Uh, I suggest you take care of it so it, it doesn't eat me. Thank you. Appreciate it. You just died of fall damage. Love you. <laughs> Love you. Succumbs to bullet wound. <laughs> Hell is right there, but there's a very unfriendly pool of lava right there. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go buy more dynamite. And you're going to stay down there so I can teleport to you. Holds myself over the lava with a grappling hook. Please don't. Like, do you actually want to? Do you actually want to reach hell? In the game, you yes. Do you in not, real life, no. Do you not want to meet Mr. Satan himself? I am his biggest fan. I'm trying to see Papa Satan. You know, he has three animal animal heads, right? He has a goat head. Head, which I'm pretty sure is like his primary head, and like he's the god of anger. In my head, because there's like, in my head canon, uh, Lucifer is a hot demon waifu who can turn into a goat. Uh, that's canon. That's now canon to the Christ verse. Uh, I will not be accused of blasphemy ever again. And for you, go to hell, and like, you're completely wrong about everything. Oh, I understand. Hell's just gonna be one big pit of lava. It's like, alright, everybody. Disco rave's over. Back to work. No, like, it, there's levels, like, for what sin. They should have, like, another final boss, like, Satan. And it's called the Empress God. of- that's called the Empress of Light. That's Satan? That's called the Empress of Light. That's Satan? Yeah. Like, sounds more like a god. Yeah, god. Boss now, fight. believe me, when you fight it, you'll you'll understand what I mean by me saying that's Satan. Wait, can we only like fight it down here? No. You have to fight it in the hollow. Meaning that Netflix show? Sure. If that's if that helps you understand, then yeah. No, but like, actually, what is it? Ho the hollow is called is basically the good biome, but it doesn't feel very good. Is there like? Don't stand is there. there. Don't bad stand guys? there. Don't stand there. Is there bad guys? No, but there's a whole hell of a lot of things that want to kill you. I said, is there any bad guys? Not really. But like I said, there's a whole hell of a lot of things that want to kill you. Meaning a bad guy. I guess. I mean, you wouldn't really consider a fucking grizzly bear a bad guy, would you? Oh, like only animals that are, are they like easy to kill? I mean, not really. For us, are they? Not really. Why the fuck do you think they're in hard mode? Okay, we're getting to the end of the scroll. <gasps> so, like, are we officially here? Bones McGee. Where? Who is? Oh, I sense him. Oh, I'm a life form analyzer. Mm -hmm. uh, Wait, I immediately- I already have one? Yeah. If it's just in your inventory, stuff like that will just work. So yeah, we're here. Okay, but- Ow. 
Welcome to hell. It's fucking horrible here. Shadow chest. This wasn't like type of background I was thinking. Why won't this chest open? It's locked. We have to kill Skeletron in order to open it. That bird. God damn it, I'm out Wait. of fabric. So like can we go and kill Skeletron? Yeah, we're just not like really all prepared to kill him, but I mean Can we try? Sure. I mean, yeah, sure, we can try. This won't go very well. Drum set. Drumstick. Uh. Well, I immediately got disemboweled by a giant bone snake, so. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> doggo! I'm also not fighting Wait, Skeletron without full HP. Like I'm, I, I need at least full 400 HP before I fight him. Oh, the doggo, he's alone. That means he gets his own room. Pretty cozy, if you ask me. He'll be lonely. He doesn't care. Yes, he does. No, dogs need love, need like compassion, and they need social well, life you know what? too. The dog will get to stand up here with the zoologist then. Well, you can put it. You can put him stuff. You can put him pieces. Yeah. How? Uh, I'm not gonna tell you because then you're gonna move all my NPCs. I promise I won't. Okay. Basically, you go to the housing thing. You click on something, and then you move the NPC to an to an unoccupied house. Don't move my NPCs. I have them exactly where I want them. Okay, so the dog doesn't count as an NPC. The dog so you does. Put the... the dog does count as an NPC. However, okay, because it's a special NPC, it can occupy the same house as one. It's an. It's marked okay. as an other. Oh, okay. Also, um, why is there a bunch of flowers um, in front of Sparkle? Like, thing. Is that needed to spawn them? No. That's there so I can grow Daybloom. Okay. But, like, I, the I, dog's just gonna teleport over to the prison? Yeah. All NPCs will immediately teleport to their house when it's nighttime, so long as nobody's within render distance. So I'm like, are we gonna go and fight Skeletron? No, I'm gonna go get full, uh, I'm gonna go get full armor. So I can have, like, two or three birds. Uh, a slime friend joins us. Are you gonna go and fight Skeletron today? Maybe. Yeah, I'll just wait for you while you do that. That's a fucking geyser. That's a Hellforge. Can I mine you yet? I can.
I could not have fought that thing even if I tried. What? The bone serpent. And Is it like a mini boss battle? At this point of the game, it might as well be. So I only lose out on one defense, right? No, I lose out on two defense. A woman, like on a game show, a woman asked, here are the gays? Well, and here are the straights? Oh, and she asked if there's any in-betweens. What the fuck does that mean? D bitch, do you mean bisexual people? If you're the man in the relationship, and the woman, so, where's the relationship? If the woman, go and try to, but then, look at the man. Is it the woman? What the fuck are you even saying? Like, you are genuinely unintelligible. <laughs> what the fuck did you even say? Engrish. <laughs> Wait, are you going to, um, go and fight Skeletron? We can only fight him at night, and it's almost day. So I'm gonna go mine Hellstone so I can get better minions. Because my birds will be doing, like, one damage, maybe two on a crit. But me personally... Okay. Me personally, I'd like to do more than two damage. So I'm gonna go uh, boss skip and uh, get some better minions. And hopefully, I don't. Okay, get... but a woman posted on TikTok. I don't have TikTok, but I've seen. It, I'm seeing it. When my BF makes me block the boy I was trying to cheat on him with. What the fuck is wrong with people nowadays? Have people genuinely never heard of first grade empathy? I genuinely think that if you were to lock a bunch of first graders in a room together, they would be more empathetic to each other than a bunch of actual fucking adults. <laughs> My last two brain cells trying to function at work, at work on a Friday. <laughs> Lady, you are a whole ass adult. <laughs> Best. Best idea, have somebody with a trumpet or something, and like have a bike and make them, um, and make them, um, play the noise. Oh, I've heard that. My elementary, my elementary um, PE teachers, they told us a story of, of um, when, so one time one of the PE teachers 
they felt something like you know when you will feel something crawling on your leg or something yeah he one time felt that he thought like oh, i'll just shake it and a cockroach came out that's fucking disgusting bad ending he told the truth to the psychiatrist you feel bad ending Will this lava stop fucking draining? There we go. Me when I see my homie walking in walking into the spare bedroom at the party with the Hello Kitty girl. The woman just walks straight into the glass door, does it again a third time. The does it a fourth time. Human brain is truly something to behold. One time, like the Midway Manor bus, it has like those, those like wind, those things that you see behind it, out front, and I wasn't paying attention, and I just wasn't looking and I and when I looked forward I my face made contact like rammed into the into the window and it messed it up a little bit and one day it fell off and I know that it was because of me. <laughs> I was the idiot that bonked my head. You're a little goofy aren't you? Imp stab. Um. All right, so we're jumping up from 11 summon damage all the way up to 24. Fuck Queen B. Do not do that to Queen B. Okay. Screw. Hear me out. Do, do not, do not sex the bee. Do not. You know what, Doji? You know what you deserve? You deserve your entire house filled with carbon monoxide. That's what you deserve. You deserve your entire fucking house filled with carbon monoxide. You deserve a pipe bomb in your mailbox. How do you feel now that your entire house is filled with carbon monoxide, Doji? How do you feel that you're now breathing manically? Manually? I was already doing that, thank you very much. <clears throat> How to mess with someone's mind? Now you're breathing manually. Are you a soy mouth breather, or are you a chad nose breather? I'm a nose breather. Good. This has to be toxic to someone this is like killing pc right this is killing the frame rate this is 100 killing the fucking bit rate on my stream i could say that <laughs> get fucked idiot your house is now filled with carbon monoxide How to disappear from the fucking universe. Where did you go? Hey, you wanna see a magic trick? You wanna see a magic trick? Sure. You don't know where the fuck I am. I can see your name. I can literally see your name. I can see the worm swerving around you. I can, I can literally see you. <laughs> Fine. God damn it, Doji. Fuck you. Do not do that. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. Nobody would ever want to have sex with you. Besides your mom. Doji, I don't think my mom has that low of standards. Your mom? They do. They did not care about the zoologist. They saw it. Hmm. All right. Well, because yeah, you're such a little bat. Because you're such a little babby. Let's go to the uh, dungeon. Dungeon and dragons. Yes. Actually, first I need. Did you know that they're making? First, they're making a movie. For Dungeons and Dragons. First, I need to do mm -hmm. something very important. It involves a high level of skill called tapping the left trigger. Crap, crap. That was intentional. Because now I reset my minions. So I only have the uh, imp one. Not only is my head completely unobstructed, but. Now I have two of the fuckers. Rock to see the dungeon, the dungeon, dungeon, dungeon. Yo, the alternate, the alternative fucking corruption music actually hits about as hard as a fucking freight train, not gonna lie. I'm. <clears throat> Are you struggling? <clears throat> you seem like you're struggling a little bit back here, <clears throat> pal. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm only struggling with your mom. Yeah, I know. You getting any bitches is truly a miracle. I'm sorry. I'll pray for you. <clears throat> Wait, crap, where did you go? I fucking ran towards the dungeon, my guy. Wait, <clears throat> where's the dungeon? On the left side of the world? Pinky. Oh crap, there's like so many of them. You are not Pinky. You are Pinky. Get him, boys. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, good time I came back. I did. Hmm. What are you choking on? <clears throat> oh no, I'm just cleaning my throat. <clears throat> it just started raining all of a sudden. <clears throat> flying fish. Yes, it's a flying fish. Fish are flying. Very good, Doji. I'm glad you figured that out. I see you.
see, we're gonna move the the arms dealer and the bitch ass nurse into the desert, so that we can just TP straight to the fucking um dungeon whenever we like, and because it makes them happy. Meaning, he'll sell bullets for cheaper, meaning Doji won't have to spend his life savings on ammo anymore. Okay. I mean, hmm. He still will, just not as much. I'll be able to buy more. Yes. I'm getting, like, so close. <clears throat> Okay, like <coughs> Drink some <coughs> fucking water, dude. What are you doing? Digging out the sand dunes so I can build a house. Hmm. Okay, give me a second. Do you think that coke wood is a good substitute for water? Absolutely fucking not. Okay, I'll go and get some water. I'll be right back. Is Coke a good substitute for water? No. Is this dude, fucking insane. I mean, Coke is good. Whatever, whatever type of Coke you take, it's probably good. But like, it's not a good substitute for water. It's like the type of shit a three-year-old would ask. Okay, I'm back. Your voice sounds even worse than before, somehow. <clears throat> Not sure how you managed to do that, but... <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> I sound like a smoker. That's probably a chimney or a furnace. <clears throat> Hmm. Don't really like the same place. Well, I mean, I'm not fucking done with it. I have then, 51 obsidian. Cool. Even then, it's not really meant to look good, per se. It's meant to make the NPCs happy, so that way we can, uh buy a pylon from them so we can teleport here whenever we want. Mm. And to them, okay, this but, um, is better than them living in a dirt fucking hobble. So they'll take it. Wait, um, this entire um, scroll, that's our, that's our land. Yeah, that whole scroll is our playable map. Like, nothing else? No. The world isn't infinite, like I said. Doesn't get like a little bit bigger? No. If you think the world is tiny, you're fucking wrong. This is the sing this is like the largest playable map area in the game. <clears throat> hey, look at this. I'm kinda busy right now, actually playing the game. Mm -hmm. 
Wait, what's this thing? That is the arena I built for Skeletron. Back when I was joking about fighting him. It's absolute garbage. I it took me maybe five minutes to put it together. <coughs> Arms dealer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that helped me through. Hey, are you- what kind of gay are you? Are you- Honestly, I was gonna do the joke. I don't know. If I had to say, the closest thing I could think of is bi, but once again, I don't know. I'm just too confused. I was gonna make a point. joke like, you know, how that one woman said, do you have any betweens, like, straight and gay? Uh, my bad. Do you, do you want me to go with your bit, or is my answer funnier? Uh, never mind. It isn't funny anymore. This door right here is letting in a bunch of them. I'm aware. We just take the nurse, put her right here. All right, mm. leave the area. Just fly somewhere that isn't near the house. All right, now the two lovebirds are in there. Wait, they're forced to like each other now? No. The nurse and arms dealer, like, have mutual crushes on each other. They do? Yeah. If you look at the nurse and go to the little dialogue bubble, like, not heal, but, like, the little smiley face thing. She has a crush. Oh, okay. Yeah, she... And then the arms dealer is like, hey, do you think the nurse is, like, you know, into me? Oh, like, so, like, will they ever, you know, get married or something? I mean, eventually they probably will, but keep in mind the arms dealer is also, like, a complete fucking sleaze bag. But we don't care. He sells us <laughs> ammo and guns and shit, so, you know, he's fine. He's like a true American. Exactly. He's oh, like yeah, this is so... <clears throat> Why the fuck did you do that? Why the fuck did you do that? We're not ready to fight him. Sorry. Okay, thank god he despawned. Sorry. Yeah, we're not ready to fight him, like, at all. I don't even have a good- I thought he had to- I don't even have a good arena built for him. I thought that you, like, had to accept the curse thing going to the thing. No, you only unlock the dungeon after you kill him. Alright, Desert Pylon is set up, you can teleport here <clears throat> now. Hey, thank you. Yep. But man, that old man. That old man like has only... some punches. No, like that poor old man, like... What's even the story behind him? Mm -hmm. So now the musket ball is six copper instead of seven. Why don't you know the lore of this game? Uh... I do, I just really don't give a shit. Um, then what's the... background of the old man? Uh, the old man... was a clothier. A wandering clothier... that happened to stumble upon the dungeon... and was cursed... by the spiritual remains of an old king... that forced him in an, into an eternal life and essentially kept him prisoner. So basically he was like a wandering guy just trying to just like going somewhere. Then he was just he just found something and he was immediately cursed. No. Actually I think what might have happened is Skeletron the King found him and forced him to build the dungeon. And then that's why 
you know, it's like that. Oh, and like saying possessed him. Yeah, he essentially possessed him, which is why the old man, aka the clothier, calls him my master. <clears throat> so, like, how do you know that Skeletron is a king, though? Uh, I don't. That's just what the community kind of refers to him as. Also, Poor a lot man. of the lore in this game, in this game, is like really, really convoluted. It's told through either snippets of NPC dialogue, weapon, um, like, like weapon descriptions, or like paintings. We can get into the thing, the dungeon. Go down. Wait, why is there corruption being here? Because the corruption's nearby. Yep, that's it, don't you? Just keep going down. Will I, like, die? I don't know, will you? Golden key? Over coins. Can of worms, rope, wooden arrow, what's your healing potion, so I'll take that. Man, I just got a golden key. That's really good. Keep going. What's gonna happen? You'll find out. Oh, like, does it kill me and take all the lo loot that I took? No. It doesn't doesn't take your loot, no. Nothing in the game can steal your loot except for your coins, remember that. Unless of course- Oh, okay, I see. It just like cuts off, like it does this, then it doesn't do anything. No, no, you have to break those blocks. Some blocks <clears throat> are crumbling. You have to break them with your pickaxe and they'll disappear. Oh, there's like a random guy there. Yeah. I was extremely surprised when you didn't die like really fast. Apparently, you must have glitched out the game or something, because you're not supposed to be able to get that far down. So, good job. You did manage to get one Dungeon. golden... You did manage to get one golden key, which is really shocking. We need those to unlock the uh, golden chests, which have all the good loot. So basically, if we manage to open a golden chest and it has what we need, we don't even need to fight Skeletron. <clears throat> That's a scorpion. That is a scorpion, good job. That scorpion just got blasted off to space. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go and see if I can get farther down. Okay, you keep you keep doing that. the uh, response the moment you get past a certain uh, altitude the dungeon guardian just kills you he throws his head yeah unlike minecraft where killing the strongest enemy 
rewards you with a big fat fucking nothing and a no you can't just kill him he's intended for the player to sneak around him so you don't have to fight him uh the Chad. But that's seriously what he was made for? Yeah, the Warden was essentially made so that way in the deep dark, you have to sneak. That's the only fucking reason he's, he exists. Meanwhile, Chad Relogic were like, hey, you kill this fucker, you get a cool pet. <laughs> and I have a couple what of. What would you say is better, Terraria or Minecraft? <clears throat> okay. Terraria and Minecraft are two completely separate games. That's like trying to compare Animal Crossing with Call of Duty. They're video games, yeah. That's where the comparison stops. Animal Crossing is a chill game, while fucking Call of Duty is a first-person shooter, action-packed, adrenaline junkie simulator. Terraria is extremely stimulating, while Minecraft is extremely rewarding. In Terraria, there's so much to do, so little time. From the moment you spawn in, there's about 10 different things you can do, and all of them reward you with progress. In Minecraft, there's about two, three things you can do, and a few of them <coughs> reward you with progress, while some of them reward you with, you know, adventure. The later you get into Minecraft, the more open it gets, the later you get into Terraria, the more linear it gets. Terraria is essentially meant to be one big boss rush that you can essentially do anything with your time in. In Minecraft, it's meant to be you kill some things, then you start your journey. So if I had to say from a fun aspect, Definitely Terraria. From a longevity aspect, Minecraft. From a stimulating aspect, Terraria. My ADHD brain loves being stimulated. But from an overall more rewarding experience, Minecraft. Which is why I have more playtime in Minecraft than I do in Terraria. Because unlike in t Minecraft, Terraria can't really be replayed with that same aspect. So anyway, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I just chatted with the old man. Yeah. <clears throat> Poor guy. He, like, fully accepts, like... <clears throat> Hey, don't do this, you might die. Also, like, he can't be summoned. Yeah, he like, can only be summoned happened? at night. Like, what happens to old man after this? Uh, he, his curse is broken, and you get the Clothier NPC. Can you start lighting up this platform? Mm-hmm. Like, don't spam torches, but, like... You see how I did in the beginning where I just ran along and I just placed torches every now and then? Mm -hmm. Let's go do that. Like, what is the strategy for this boss battle? Essentially, do not stop moving. Don't stop moving and get good at dodging. This is the part of Terraria where you either get good, or you get a refund. Like... Yeah. Hey, um, do you have Among Us? Yeah. I don't want to play it, though. Kid one sass that, and another kid said, "I don't want to play it." And he, and the kid asked, "Can I play on your phone?" And the kid started having like a fit when he was told no. El bozo. 
Please don't take my fucking wood, you goddamn gremlin. Okay. Hmm. Wonder how long these trees have been standing before I decided to cut them down. Oh well, not enough to convince me. There's a bone man on the loose and I need to kill him for game progression. Six hundred and twenty platforms. That might be enough. Waffle is playing Undertale W game. Yeah. Have you ever played Undertale? No. It's a great game. You should honestly play it. Whatever happened to Totoro? I don't know. She could be on vacation again. Remember to stay Someone's hydrated, close. people. A person once posted a picture of him having a box with a scorpion in it. He said, I caught a blue lobster and it bit me and now I'm feeling sleepy. Everything in that sentence just is wrong. It is not a lobster, although it is an arthropod, meaning it's related to crabs. Oh wait, you want to hear something funny, right? So because the United States, like, Wildlife Service refuses to acknowledge that bees are endangered and refuses to, like, help prevent them from being endangered, the national... Being? Yeah, the National Fish Reserve, like the National Fish, Fish Forestry and all that stuff in the United States, has ruled that bees should be considered um, arthropods. You know, like crabs, and lobsters, and shrimp, and dragonflies. Why? So basically, bee is legally considered sushi filling. Bumblebee sushi. I mean, it brings a whole new what? meaning to bumblebee tuna. I don't like that. Like, wouldn't like its venom and its stinger get to you? Well, I mean, you have to debone it first, like a fish. Deep. Probably be all nice. it'd, it'd probably be fucking all nice and crunchy and hairy in your mouth like a spider. I hate you. <laughs> Don't ever say that again. <laughs> what, do you not like the idea of all the little bee and spider hairs, you know, swishing between Shut your up. teeth Shut and, up, and gently caressing your gums? You deserve to go to hell just for saying that. Okay, I'll meet you there. I'm working on trying not to go there. You're not trying very hard, I'm gonna be honest. You're, you're not gonna. Be, you're being. You're being honest. Yeah, you're, be. going, you're, you're going to hell just for that one. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, God can let things slide, but I can't. Can we for us to only use this once? Oh no, we'll use it like one more time for like, you know, one of the hardest bosses in the game. Moonlord? No. 
<laughs> Fuck no, for Moon Lord, who builds an arena for Moon Lord? You fly across your, uh, you fly across your map, uh, haphazardly, and you scream and cry and piss your pants until it's dead. Okay, so what boss are you talking about? The lunatic cultist. What? The lunatic cultist. I think this like I know what you're talking about. Yeah, obviously. Everybody watching this video, you guys know who the lunatic cultist is, right? Right? We don't need a description of you, okay? See, they, they, Just... they understand who the lunatic cultist is, right? Have you See, been yeah, taking your it. meds? They get it. Wait, are we summoning him? I'm gonna... Of course I'm fucking summoning him. Do you think I trust you to do it? So basically, you're gonna take your boomstick, right? And you're gonna shoot the hands. We want to get them both around the same HP level, so that when they both break, he's not stuck with just one hand. Why don't we take out the head first? Uh, because the hands give him like an extra 25 defense. So you'll be doing like six damage to his head, as opposed to How much? 30. How much health does he have? 25,000? He has... He actually, I don't even remember. He could have 15,000, he could have 25,000. Okay. Are you just waiting for him to be able to summon, be summoned? I love how it's just like, my master won't let me... Like, is he just, is he you... just always standing here, like, keeping guard? Like, you'd think the dungeon guardian would be, like, you know, adequate protection, considering that thing is damn near unkillable. You can kill it? Yeah. What happens if you do? You get a cool pet. Alright, three, two, one. And buff. Oh yeah, 15,000 health. That's not that much. Okay. Let's go, bone man. Let's go, let's go. Fuck. That was too much damage. I'M FUCKING BLEEDING! Yeah, just don't stop moving. If you stop moving, you lose. Don't use the slime, don't use the slime. Yeah, no, definitely. Don't use the slime pet. Definitely do not use the slime. Yeah, I'm doing a solid two damage to his head. Come on. Focus down those hands, focus down those hands. Don't forget to circle around him. That's why you have rocket boots. Don't forget your specter boots. Use them to circle around him. Also, I hope you know that we're not going to beat this boss first try, like, at all. So this is basically just you getting ready to warm up. This is what I meant by getting good. Also, by the way, I'm just going to tell you this now. You cannot use pylons when there's a boss or an event going on. So, you can't warp back here when Skeletron is here. So, you gotta walk, big man. Okay, just give me a second, I'm gonna set up. I'm a quick heal. Fuck! You're about to die. Yeah, I'm on 100 HP. If I get hit one more time, I'm fucked. <laughs> Stay away, Bone Boy. Stay away. Okay, that zombie down, just. One hand down. Okay, give me a second. I need to set the quick kill by. Yeah, I have mine set to down on the D pad. Guess I'll do that too. Fuck! Yup, this is the end. I'm gonna die here. Or not? Wait. Be sound? No, wait, hang on. There might be a part two. There might be a part two. There might be a part two. If your boy gets good at dodging, which he already... <laughs> I got fucking backhanded. I got backhanded across the face. I was talking shit, and I got backhanded.
<laughs> you better watch your mouth. You better watch your mouth, young man. Bop. It's like. It's like one of those and, memes and where. Don't mind me. I'm gonna put on the Dallas Payday mask real quick. Just give me a second. I want to hear like tr struggling to talk. Okay, I'm you... back in. How does my audio sound? Buffled. That means it's working as intended. Uh, this is my gaming mask, actually. Guys, Dallas the, Gaming. The, what's the name of the mask called? Uh, I'm taking that off. What's the name of the mask called? The Dallas mask. Ladies, the Dallas mask say, stays on during sex. <laughs> ladies, ladies, the Dallas mask. Come in. It's that hole. Bum 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 bum. What's that? Ladies, ladies, the Dallas mask stays on during sex. So I'm gonna go get cobwebs to make a bed. Cause uh <clears throat> Okay, Jeffrey, our guide, kinda likes some of the zoologists. Huh. Didn't also that, but okay. Also, she does. She doesn't like um the angler. Oh yeah, she's like big into animal preservation, and also I kind of understand that. Like, not the angler's like being a fisher, but he's also just annoying as fuck. The dryad also hates his ass. The Who? angler's just annoying Who? as fuck. Who's dryad? The dryad, <clears throat> as in like the dryad NPC in the jungle, which is why I moved her into the jungle. A, because she likes it. B, because she cannot fucking stand the angler. Like, are you gonna retry the Skeletron? Yeah, once he respawns, and once I get. You know, a bed set up. Wait, what do you mean respawn? The old man has to respawn every day. You can't just fight him. Also, I feel like if you actually get better at the game, then this won't be nearly as difficult. So just get good.
<laughs> Fuck, I need to make a sawmill. Why do you think a cat would act like to um, a cheetah? Uh, <clears throat> it would probably act like, I don't know, it would probably try to fight the cheetah and it would probably win. Since mo since cheetahs, to be honest, are kind of like a mid-level. Cheetahs are kind of mid, to be honest. Like. Not really all that threatening. All right, set your spawn point here. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna go see what the uh, traveling merchant has. Is he here? No, he is not. He's in the jungle. Do you know Bush Gardens? What? Do you know Bush Gardens? No. Dryad like the forest or the jungle better? The jungle, okay. angry <laughs> okay I'm gonna go get sunflower set up Do you remember that date, that dumb devious lick challenge? Yeah. There's a video of someone doing it. Ah. Uh. 
I forgot about uh, property. Grass. I'll be back. Uh, uh, property theft. Yeah. <laughs> a cop. So a guy was talking to an. So there were two cops, and they pulled over this guy, and this guy started like talking to the cop. And there's a cop in the car, and the cop in the car he takes all walkie. You know that lets the guy let that lets noise go out through the car. And he said, "Ooh, he's in trouble." And the guy he. He was gonna go over there and beat the crap out of the cop, but the cop outside had his had to hold him back. And the guy in the in the cop in the car, in the car said, "Well, guys, stay back." Your screen gets brighter if you're happy. That's pretty cool. A kid is in my school is now disliked because he called a black kid Jamal, and that wasn't even his name. Wow. And he was like actually like blatantly racist w school the kids know what to look this... out for okay the arenas pretty much the best we can get for now. Did you make sure that your spawn point was set? Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. Since when you die, you're gonna respawn here. There, And when you're dead, there is no chilling on your phone until you respawn. There is only wait until the number goes down. Because the moment that you respawn, your ass needs to be out of the house. Okay. <laughs> There's a parrot barking.
<laughs> Biggest troll to play on birds on the road. Pretend like you're gonna drop down some breadcrumbs, but just open your hand to nothing. All fun and games till the birds start fighting back. <laughs> When your friend starts driving faster and he says, Do you ever care about life, man? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. I loved you so much. The speed increases. Beetle just starts smoking cigarette man, on the road. Man just wanted a little hit. The fucker's a Roomba left its home. The fucker's stressed out. All right, give him a break. The Roomba left. Okay, now if I join. Okay, so no team? Okay. Red team? Green team? Blue team? Somebody watched an episode of Tom and Jerry at the, um, World Cup. W. Okay, how many glowing mushrooms do we have? Tell me when you spawn Skeletron. I'll be spawning him soon, so be fucking ready. Okay.
Where the fuck did all my gold go? Your spawn point is set. Get it your is. Apply your buffs now since I'm going to spawn him in three, two, one. Let's do this thing. Play me. Outro music starts. Right here. This is playthrough one of Five Nights at Freddy's. This is I am Markiplier. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier. Today we'll be playing Change. Oh, that's too much damage. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh. Okay. Do not get hit by a skull when it's spinning. It does way too much damage. Focus down the hands, the hands, the hands. You don't do any damage to the head. By the way, do not forget about your vertical mobility. It is by far your most important thing in this fight. Fuck. Alright, you just gotta live for another 30 seconds. If you can, just do damage to the hands. If you can, just do damage to the hands. Uh, if one of them looks like it's about to break, don't don't shoot at it. Why? Because other because then he'll start shooting skulls. And those are and those curve around, and they're very hard to dodge without flying up. Okay, are you back? Uh, now I am. Okay, that's good. That's also why I put a big ass hole in the roof, so you can just fly straight up and grapple. Right. Buffs. Okay, he's on me right now. Okay. Going for the hands. Okay. I need I need some time to cool off, so. He's still on me. This is not necessarily good. Ooh, shield of Cthulhu saved my ass. Shield of Cthulhu, okay. I love you! Oh. Okay, one, one, both hands are almost broken, but I'm gonna, I'm dead, I'm dead. Don't, don't shoot him, do not shoot him at all. Just don't, just don't even do damage to him. Just focus on living. Oh, 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 juke. Absolutely Idiot. broken. 15 seconds. Oh. Yeah, see, that's why you don't stop moving at all. I see your point. I just... Oh, no, you are not five back seconds, in. Five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm back in. Okay. You're now tagged in. Tag me in, tag me in. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, like, you were tagged in. Do not die. Uh, I'll try my damn hardest. Somehow I lived twice when I, you died twice. To be fair, I can... also have to be right up close and personal to do the to do a major chunk of damage. All right, both hands are down. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, tag me in. You're tagged in. I buffed up. Fuck, I'm dead already. Yeah, you have to dodge those skulls. Curve. So okay. You have to go either above him or around him. 20 seconds. Fuck. Yeah, you see what I mean when I said this is the uh, this is the this is the boss that really makes you consider returning the game. Yeah. This is the gatekeeper of good shit. 
Okay, the thing is, like, hmm. if we could, like, get one more person in here... One more person and, like, will increase his HP by, like, 3,000. I know, but, like, it would give us, like, more time if one of us died. That is true. We could also get you better potions, which is something we need to do anyways. Uh, go back to the desert and just sleep in the bed to skip the night. Go back to so, the desert okay. and sleep in the bed so that we can fast forward the night. Okay, so, yeah, you're gonna get all the potions, then... Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm currently sleeping. Are you sleeping? Yep. Oh, it's instant. It just like speeds up the night. Yeah, it speeds it up by four times. Oh, so I don't like how this watch only displays the time every half hour. I really hate that. By the way, according to the game, 4.30 a.m. is considered daytime. And 7.30 p.m. is considered nighttime. Oh, what's that? Uh, one of the NPCs is throwing a party. So, uh, congratulations to the merchant. Alfred? Jolly Jamboree. Who is Alfred again? The merchant. <laughs> Even the cat. Mm hmm. And dog. And the cat and dog cowboy. Mm hmm. The zoologist like... is the only NPC who won't wear one, and she even states it herself. Sorry, I can't wear a ha I can't wear the hat because of my ears, but I'm still here for the party. Do I have an extra band of regen somewhere? It's like what happens during this. Uh, it's just like, it's just like a helpful event. The bunnies are wearing like, party hats too. Oh, that's what happens. I get a slice of cake. This will actually help immensely. Okay, so we'll put this down. It gives us really good a slice press, of cake. I don't know. I got it from an NPC. Press B on it. It gives you really good buffs. It makes you really fucking fast for a short while, for about two minutes. Wait, we should have that, um, we should place that as the desert. I just got it, like, right now. Okay, but yeah, where do we go for potions? Uh, we go to? basically, really the, the only two potions that matter for this fight are Swiftness, Iron Skin, and Regen. And I don't have any Day Bloom, so I can't make Regen. Specifically, I would like Daybloom Seeds. Cool, the cool slime has arrived. Yeah. Who's that? That's one of the town slimes. Is Act he like, um, is he like, is he here forever? Yeah. Until he dies? Or yeah. He's here for like the end of time, just like any other NPC. He's like the nerdy slime that we got after killing King Slime. You can pet him! Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna get the potions and everything. Follow her. Suspicious looking eye. There might be Daybloom out here.
Bordak. When will he get like more items? Uh, they'll get more stuff as time goes on. Like. The later you get into the game, the more stuff they'll sell. There's also like a lot more NPCs that are locked behind certain points of the game. It's a 1.09 a.m. For you? Uh -huh. Wow. I think I'm like kill this boss, then I can, then, like I can go sleep. Yeah. You know what? Wait, what time is it for you? It's like 10:30, or it's 10:09 for me. So you're gonna be online like after I get offline. Maybe. Either way, I don't want to fight it by myself, so don't even suggest that, please. I'm, no, I'm not, just, after we kill it, like, then I'll go to sleep. Okay. Alright, I've now started growing Daybloom, which is good because I need that for potions. Another Abigail's flower, how convenient. Where? That little orange stump on the ground. Not the flower looking thing, but just like the ball. Oh, this thing. Yeah. You really wanted that thing. Yep. Well, I really only wanted it because it was a summon weapon that I could get really early that wasn't too, too difficult to get until I actually needed to get it. Then it was damn near impossible. Okay, come get half of these potions. And then for swiftness, I think I need blink root for that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need blink root and cactus. I don't think I have very many blink root. Okay, so regeneration potion, that's all you need? Yeah, regen and iron skin are especially useful because iron skin just gives you eight more defense for like 10 minutes. And regen makes it so you regenerate a lot faster for 10 minutes. Do you don't have... Wait, did you give me iron skin? Yeah, you should have, like... They're the orange... They're orange, or, like, yellow. Where should I do? Wait, no, I have iron skin. Okay. I only have one swiftness potion left. So... I'll have yeah, to I think that we have it, that we got this. Okay. What do you think that they'll like ever miss each other? Like the NPCs? Maybe. <gasps> um, even them over here have, have party hats. Yeah, everybody does. Dante and Emily, they're in the same room. Yeah. Can we for them to, like, be the only successful, like, 
like family here than like everybody else. Just Can I kill the old man? You can. Um, he just has to respawn again. So try not to. Like, so, uh, oh, like how the internal for him is like he can die just he'll be respawned. Yeah, that's kind of his eternal hell. It's not like oh, no matter what, he'll just be alive. Yeah, he's not immortal. He will just always be forced to respawn. And he like once we okay. you uh, get rid of his curse. Go back to the um, desert and sleep there, and keep your respawn point set there. Since we're gonna sleep the rest of the day away, so we can fight Skeletron again. So basically, like, after we get go rid of his curse... Go back to the desert. Go back to the desert. So, like, once we get rid of his curse, does he, like, want to die, or...? No, the Clothier NPC moves in. I don't know what the hell happens to him. If you'll notice, the balloons in the background are moving very fast. The balloons in the background are moving very fast. I know, I heard. But like, does Skeleton like rip the old man apart? Like, to maybe get out? It's just like his bones, like, like he just spawns there and rips him up, explodes him. I don't know. I just know that Skeletron's one weird ass motherfucker. Alright. Set your spawn point. Can't believe that he made one take, guy take an entire temple. One of those. Take a couple of those. Those are better potions, those heal you for a hundred each. Zoom all the way out and uh, get ready because I'm gonna summon him. All right, you ready? Nope. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, so like my entire screen needs to be like all zoomed the way, out. all the way zoomed out so you can see him. Okay. I can summon him now. Oh fuck, I hit his head oh, immediately. Alright, focus hands. Focus hands. That's not good. I'm already, like, really low. I don't want to nurse cheese, but if I have to, I will. Is he on you or me? He's on me, that's not good. Okay, I'm gonna stop attacking him. Can you see if you can aggro him? No. I don't know. I'm just he's on you. If he's on me. Okay, don't follow me, just keep him away from me. <laughs> Okay, I'm healed all the way back up. Good. Ow. I just got washed by his hand. This freaking shoot out his hand. Ow. I just got bitch slapped by this bony boy. Alright, lure him all the way over here. Don't turn around, just keep running this way. You have so much arena over here.
Okay, we're gonna open it. Uh, one hand is broken. Okay, one hand is broken. I'm gonna see if I can get the other one. Alright, other one's gone, other one's gone. Just shoot the big fucker. Uh, use your boomstick for this one. He's on me. Damn, I really If you need to, go to the nurse down with the arms dealer and ask her to heal you. He's focused on me right now, so you you got you got time. Help, please. Like, when I'm closer to him, I'm gonna use the boot stick or farther away. I'm gonna... Be alone. You have 30 seconds. Oh. 15 seconds. <clears throat> oh. Remember, those ones curve, so be careful. I'm trying to... Oh uh, shit. Battle music is... Battle... You motherfucker. One second, one second. God damn it. <gasps> Crap! Doji, why did you... Remember, you have so much arena to run around in. If you run just, out of space... There were so one... many... Doji, there were so many skulls. Doji, they don't... They were just... When they loop behind you... When they, when they curve, they don't ever come back. Like, once they curve to try and hit you, they will never come back. Like, they were making a cage around me. Like, they were all around me, and I like- Doji, and, and I saw what happened. Along. I saw what happened. I was watching. You fucking- Oh my god. Alright. Back to sleep. Wait, should we use grenades? No. Why? Because grenades don't travel very far, they don't stick to platforms, and they don't do enough damage to justify their low performance rate, I guess. just slapped one of their owners and then the box that they were in fell down hmm. with them inside of it do you want to try and go find all the life crystals that we need before we go fight Skeletron life crystals yeah you mean heart crystals they're called life crystals that's what you just said you said you said heart crystals I said life crystals uh, the place here is in a snowstorm. That's a sandstorm. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go find all of our heart crystals. Okay, yep. I'm gonna quickly go over there. I need, like, four more. <laughs> Wait, we're going- we are going over here? No, I'm going down the hole. Oh. You would probably get slapped by your cat. I don't have a cat.
can't believe that's raining here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can't wait to have, for that like one raindrop to be eradicated on the way down here. Jace, I. Did you know they made a new drink? Yep. And I just sang Funky Town, you didn't even join in. No. There's an unconscious man down here, where? What? Oh, I what? found him. What's... Hello, good sir. What's... What's so good about him? He sells... stuff. Get you but uh, I literally fell all the way down here. I'm gonna get this one and this one. What are you talking about? We're gonna do the old one's army. For Skeletron, because I'm pretty sure this is actually what we're supposed to do. The old one's army? Yeah. What's that? You ever heard of the game Dungeon Defenders? No. Okay, never mind. Is gold like one of the best armors you can get? Gold? Mm hmm. No, it's. Well, I mean, in pre hard mode, it's alright. But later on in the game, Gold's 20 defense is, like, overshadowed by armor that gives the entire Gold set's defense bonus with a single piece of armor. No, the old man's army, like, what is that? Uh, you know the goblin invasion it's like a wave type thing like that only like it's like an actual sure. wave system like tower defense rather than like a rather so than basically like invasion. it's actual waves yeah it's an actual like wave based event rather than just a straight up invasion So, how do we do that? I need to get enough money to buy the Eternia Crystal and the Eternia Crystal Stand. And once I trigger the crystal, the, um... Like, who is the old man and what's his army? The old one. I, I don't know. I played the game. I don't remember all the lore and shit, so don't fucking bug me about it. <laughs> he couldn't win the Mr. Beast event. Yeah, that's that's why he's angry. He was your mom. Die, you bad! Finally. Oh, this thing's already looted. I'm 
just riding the minecarts. I'm now a pink thing. What's this pink thing? What pink glowing. Thing? Pink stuff and it's glowing. Oh, that's moss. Is it bad? No, it's just a cool looking biome. Yeah. Like, this is Terraria, man. I don't know what good and what is not. Okay, kind of forget what I said earlier about everything in the game being meant to kill you. Most things in the game are meant to kill you. Some things are just good. Crystal. Me protecting my home from homophobic people. They hate homes. That's one way to justify it to yourself, Doji. I'm gonna go get fucking. Okay, do you wanna fight Skeletron one more time tonight? Or do you wanna do the Old One's Army and potentially get better stuff? The Old One's Army. You sure you wanna do it like right now? I mean, what do you think? I mean, either way, it's. We kind of have to do both of them. The Old One's Army will potentially let us get better armor. Okay then, let's do the old one's army, then the, um, thing. Okay. So for this, you're gonna have to help me flatten out the spawn area. This thing brought me all the way to the jungle. Cool. So go to spawn. Okay. Yeah. You're going to start. Okay, so from right here, just start digging this way and flattening out all of the land. Just start digging this way. Switch to a smart cursor, the one that auto fills, and just start slowly mining. I'm gonna chop down all the trees. Wait, the um, the the circle, the circle yeah, or the, the okay, circle. The circle. Man, I really thought Jackson would get on today. That kind of that's kind of sad. Sad. How come like we're usually the only ones online to these type of things? I don't really know. Jackson could also be like at his dad's or doing something else. You could also do. You could also be doing something like way more important. Like, I don't know. What's he, more important than Terraria? He could be, you know, he could potentially be seeing Damon in person, which is, you know, understandably a little bit more important to me than uh, playing Terraria. You know, I kind of care yeah, if my more... best friend is, you know, alive and well. What about if he was like not getting on just because like he didn't want to? Well then that's just that's just whatever he wants to do. It's annoying, yeah, but you know, it's his right to not do that.
be nice if we got a meteor to spawn. A meteor? Yeah. So we Where can, is it? So we can get meteorite or keep mining. I need this whole yeah. place flattened out because the arena I'm making requires very special. But wait, we can get a meteor? Yeah. How do we spawn that? Uh, you have to break a shadow orb, and I think it will only spawn after the Eater of Worlds is killed, which we did. It just takes a while, which sucks. And the Goblin Army is supposed to only spawn after that as well. But, clearly it didn't. Okay, keep mining. I'm gonna go make a uh, a hammer. Why? So I can destroy the walls. I don't. I don't like those dirt walls. Okay. <gasps> Actually, I don't have enough, so we're gonna kill Aya Cthulhu real quick, just once. You don't have enough for what? So I can have enough demonite to make a hammer. This man is getting rinsed. Where, where are you? This man is getting okay, rinsed. He's already about to turn into a second phase. Yep, there he goes. And in his second phase, his defense is even lower. Wait, but doesn't this like give us like a bunch of money? Yeah, it also gives us a bunch of money as well. Which is why like later on, like past Eater of Worlds when Aya Cthulhu isn't really a threat to us, I'll just like rinse him for money over and over again. Like second to Queen Bee, he's my favorite punching bag. Do you want an Eye of Cthulhu mask? Um, I already have one. Ah. Uh, the Hasty Shield of Cthulhu. Yeah, it makes you move slightly faster, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, I'm gonna equip that. Movement speed isn't really all that big. For me, it boils down to crit chance. Uh, like, just straight up damage. And... Uh, what's it called? Uh, like, defense. Who are you? Patty, I got the cure. Or what Elzia got L L no Eternal Crystal, Eternal Crystal Dan. I already have uh, all that. Defender's Forage. Flame Burst Rod Rods <clears throat> Ale. He's a bartender. <laughs> Keep mining and I'll break the walls. Unless you want to trade. No, I like this. Okay. Like, how far do I have to go with the mining? Basically until you reach the pit. Okay.
Do we have to replace all this? No. Okay. I just need this area flat so I can do a glitch that will pretty much like completely nullify the old one's army and make it like insanely easy. to Professional Terraria, day uh, 273, where we're building a big arena so that way some weird looking goblins can uh, invade our homeland so we can show them good old fashioned American hospitality. And instead, of, and instead of giving them cheese, crackers, and wine, we give them cheese, firecrackers, and a whole hell of a lot of buckshot. It's where we, you, really use our amendment, or the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment is a fantastic one, because it gives us the right to, to light up any home intruder-shaped object that enters our, ho our, ha our house. Shaped object. Yeah. So, like, the weird-ass skinwalker knocking on my front door? I have a four-gauge shotgun pointed straight at its fucking dome. What about if it's a girl? Is it... Home intruder. But you said object shaped. That can like home intruder no, shaped it's... object. Is it a home intruder? Is it an object that looks like a home intruder? If both of those are if if both of those are correct, then you have full legal right to kill it. For instance, it's a microwave, but it's shaped like a person trying to enter your front door without your permission. Kill it. Kill the microwave. I, actually, I feel like all the ghost stories and like Native American folk tales of like skinwalkers and wendigos could very easily be beaten by the 21st century. Imagine you're a wendigo spirit and you wake up. And you, you're going back to, like, killing people with your bare hands and, like, hatchets and machetes and shit. And some random drunk pharmacy owner fucking lights you up from across the street and inverts your kneecaps with one single 50 cal bullet. Like, Wait, is a Wendigo? Essentially, it's, it's known as a hungry ghost. It, uh... It latches on to those who possess an excess amount of greed in life and uh, makes them, it gives them the carnal desire to devour human flesh. And it will move so on either when it's eaten enough, when it deems the host has been punished enough, or when it's dead. So, so basically, it'll go possess someone to do all this yeah then like if they and if the host like goes through enough torment then they might let them go what if they like never die well then sucks for you I guess Wait for Jackson to come back. He's, he's gonna, gonna he's gonna be like, why is spawn why does spawn look like this? I made a few improvements. Why is it all flat? So I could kill some goblins easier. Yeah, but why So we could kill goblins. But why are we killing them? Okay, look, we found this weird drunk guy in the fucking underground. He 
ranted on about this weird looking crystal. And then he Wait, is the Is the bartender that guy? The guy that you found? Yeah, the bartender's the unconscious man. Also, just, like, as a crossover with Dungeon Defenders 2, the Tavern Keep entered our world, along with the Old Ones Army event, which is one of my favorite events in the game. And, the, in the Dungeon Defenders 2 world, there's a DLC character called the Dryad who can fly and has a cool looking sword that you get to play as if you buy her. And she's pretty cool. Dungeon Defenders 2 is also I don't also know who free. this Dryad person is. The Flower Lady in the jungle. Oh, okay. I'm so glad that there is no durability. Yeah, was, if this were Minecraft, we would have gone through like four sets of tools already. Exactly. My home address is Among Us Road. I'm starting to get to the point where I have to jump to break all the walls, which sucks. I've been having to jump to get to break blocks. I don't think that parents should, um, put soap in their kids' mouths. Joke's on them. What happens if I fucking eat it? Like, you're, you might poison your kid. That is fair. What you gonna do when freaking... DPS pulls up, you're like, yeah, your kid would, has soap poisoning or something. I don't like being the hammer <clears> guy. <throat> Take this, break all the walls. I want a mine now. I want mine. No. Please do the hammer. Fine. Thank you. It's also an important job. Riveting gameplay. Just saying a spider boss would be cool. I would not like that. It would be very cool. A spider! A spider! Okay, is this good enough? Uh, Big all queen? the walls have to be gone. Why? Because it looks ugly, Doji.
plus now this is now that this is all flat it'll also serve as a tree as a tree farm Tired. Don't worry, it'll all be over soon. I remember one time my family got when got BK while I was playing Terraria with a friend. And on Xbox we don't play. But we don't play now. And I went downstairs and I downed a whopper. I was just buying it for the first time and I ate it like under three minutes. Damn. Alright, hand me the hammer back. Chris, I thought he said hamburger. No. I just watched also, the squirrel for some reason, I had the pet. Also, for some reason, I had fries. Wow. Like actual fries. In the game? Oh yeah, some enemies will drop like food items. You probably got that up off of a flying fish. Anyways, uh, pick a side, any side, and I'll start the event. But the, fruit, but the thing is, like, I don't have any more. Okay, I'll, I'll take this. Is that like? Is that um fruit? Is that like little icon? Like at the progress bar? Is that the old one? Maybe I don't know. Give me any Ethereum mana that you pick up. Okay. The waves do get harder as time goes on, so keep that in mind. Don't let them touch the crystal. Why? Because they'll damage it? What the fuck are you even doing, Doji? Wait, I'm near the thing. Okay, hand me like all of they your mana. Don't... Give. Mana? Yeah, all the Ethereum mana that you picked up, the green shit. I don't have any. Okay. So just shoot all of them, Doji. It's not that hard. Oh, this stuff. Yeah. It's just your. Yeah. I know. Like, they don't like the crystal, right? They're trying to break it so they can release the old one's power. What happens if they do? Uh, we lose the event. Hand me all your fucking mana, please. Okay, oh. Um. Just go into your inventory and drop it. There we go, thank you. What does that even... What is that used for? It's used for summoning the uh, little totem thingies that I'm putting down. That way they can damage the enemies for me, so I don't have to do anything anymore. So basically, the things can only be used to damage, like, in this event, that's where they can only be used. Beating it the first time? Yes. Beating If you beat it once, then yeah, you get to put them anywhere. I've set up a mini firing squad over here. Are you alive? Yeah, I'm, I was over at the desert. Ah. This is what I like to call the AFK so strat. So beat the threat? Yeah. The old one's army. You have to beat it before you can use pylons, like I said. Okay. 
I'm coming. Shit, they're flying guys now. Help me! Coming. Okay, this is the boss wave, so the boss is gonna spawn. Do I get anything? Uh, I think so. You get defender medals. Like, did I... Like, does it count that I helped out? Yeah, there's no, like, treasure bag. For all players on the server, it drops defender medals at spawn. Like, at the, um... What's it called? Like, at the location that, um... Like, where the Eternia Crystal stand is. Okay, so like, what's, what do you get? Did you pick up any, uh, Defender Medals? Oh. Those what are- What do they, where are they? Those are a unique currency, they can only be used at the Tavern Keep. And, fuck. We haven't gotten Where's far that? enough. We have to kill Skeletron, God damn it! We can't buy better armor from him. Okay, ready. Why not? Shouldn't the back at thirty-one, thirty-one twenty-five versus twenty-four and thirty. What? But I get another century. What? What's that? I'll test it once without the cloud in the bottle. And if it's worth it, I'll switch because it gives me slightly more damage and I get to summon two of these guys instead of just one. Two of what guys? The little flame burst guys. You see the little jack o' lantern looking fucks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get to summon those dudes. What do they do? They shoot things. All right, let's uh, let's go fight Skeletron. Oh, okay, you can. Yeah. I was gonna say you can, yeah, you can walk there. Okay, is that your spawn? Is that your spawn? Yep, probably should actually. 
Thank you for reminding me. We don't have too, too much time, but I'm hoping... I have three sentries. Okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna go summon him, so get ready. Alright, I can summon him. Actually, yeah, you summon him. Because I don't have... Keys. Okay, yeah, sure. You're already almost dead, that's not good. That's you're, not good. You're throwing. You're actually throwing. taking a lot of damage though, like an uncomfy amount of damage is being dealt to the big bone man right now. Seems the skill. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Tag me in. Tag okay, me in. Tag you're me. in. Fuck. Break a hand without me even noticing. Okay, can you get him off of me? Um, is he on you? Yes, he is. Okay, one hand is down. Okay. That's not necessarily the best case scenario, but it's the scenario we've got. If we somehow kill him on this scuffed ass attempt, I'm gonna be surprised as hell. Just shoot the fucking hand. I don't care what you do, just shoot the hand. I got a hand, somehow. Okay. Light him up, boys. He got hit by a fallen cool. star that did so much damage. You did? Skeletron got hit by a fallen star and it did like a thousand damage to him. Nine, eight, nine, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Tag me back in. Alright, you're in. Yeah. I've still got my buffs. best we've done. Our only concern right now is running out of time. But he is at half health, and we do still have four minutes. That's not good. Heal. I can't. I don't have a potion ready. Can I try for quick heal? I do, but I don't have a potion ready. Three, two, one. Hey, that's... Hey, 5,000, yeah, we got this, we got this. Fuck. Okay, go down to the nurse, I'll hang over. Okay. Wait, he despawned? What the fuck? I thought that you were close enough. I was right at the nurse. What the fuck? This shouldn't... What? You were close enough, right? I was absolutely close enough. I was not even like 200 feet away. What the fuck? Bruh. Okay. At least we know what to do. We can beat him, we just need the game to not hate us. Should I build a bigger arena? 
Yes. Okay. I can like, do this tomorrow. Do you want to? Honestly, man, I'm pretty tired. Okay. I'll convert all the wood Ooh. I have into platforms, and then we can continue this tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. Well, that was minorly successful. We got close to beating Skeletron. I don't think I died once that whole fight. It's just the game really, really does not like me um, running away to go heal at the nurse like a little baby. So, yeah. I have one more good attempt left. Uh, I now have full Obsidian Outlaw gear. The Old One's army has been manhandled. And, uh, yeah. Come tomorrow, we're ready to absolutely handle Skeletron. So, tune in next time to, uh, to see us absolutely clobber or get clobbered. And, uh, yeah. As always, see you next time.